Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. And we're broadcasting at 60 frames a second and two cats a second. So welcome to the show tonight. We have a very special show. We're going to be doing the Dragonfly Cart special. So we'll be looking at the Dragonfly Cart and all the things it allows us to do, mm -hmm. including playing EXO, <laughs> which is the game we're going to be playing tonight. Yes. The game, the, the only game. game. Yeah. Um, and it is an exclusive update that we've got. Okay. So thank you to Muddy Funster for uh, letting us uh, exclusively premiere his update. That's very cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we've got a huge list of things that have been updated. So, but we will get to that. I want to thank all the subscribers for supporting the show, including Pixel there. Um, 8 Bit Swami, Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, Cafe Man 2D Canadian, Tenor Catalogs, Charles and Jack Coconut. Dan, EVC Drexel, I'm you, Dan, Great Offender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ozure Rapper, Johnny WC, One Year Ida, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Guy Gandor, Leo the Low, Mark's Basic, Mick Muse, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Mr. Zarn Whoop, uh, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat, VG, Cohog, RC70, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, where S. Ramirez is the D train. The Welshman, Tiki Dan, KT, Fos, and Trek MD. And you can support the show. Get your name on that list there beside Pixel, who's surprisingly calm. Um, is not torn me up yet. Uh, for free, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and make sure you follow us on all the things. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so you know all these special shows coming up where we do special things with special cats. Um, <laughs> I have a poll question. They're kind of special. They're kind of special. Poll question today. Um, the poll question is, how much would you pay for a digital binary game for Atari 2600 or 7800? Just, just the binary. Not, not any extras. Hmm. Not any bonuses. You don't get paper with it. You maybe get a PDF just, that just, you can print out yourself. Just the game. You just download the game mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. Um, cause a lot of people seem to have been posting for some reason, like a ton of them in the past couple of weeks, mm. probably cause there has been talk by Al, uh, Garuso about opening up an Atari age store, which allows digital downloads. So just strictly digital, just strictly mm. digital. Um, and of course, Audacity games, it has a digital option, um, yes. along with buying the game, but you they, have to buy the game, you have to right? buy the game in yeah. that case. And, and, and I think Al is, digital. is doing just digital downloads. Yes. Yes. How the rollout's going to go, I don't know. If he's going to do the staggered release, mm. where it's like box, no box, then digital download, mm. or it's just an option for the developer to, mm. to have. It. Yeah. It's like if so they, they can want. say yay or nay. Like, yeah, do it's it, not going to be automatic. It. I don't know. Yeah. He hasn't really given any details yet. Mm. But I wanted to see what it is like out there. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of people mm. saying what they they would pay for it. Mm. And um, now this is for whatever game you want to make up. Let's yeah. let's say the best game that you love, the, the most loved game that you want to buy, right? Yeah. Um, so the options are, let me start it up. Boom. There we go. Uh, option number one, nothing. I'm strictly physical media. Uh, option two is $30 or more. Option three is $20 or more. Option four is $10 or more. Option five is $5 or more. Yeah. And option six is uh, $1. And that would be like $1 to four, five to nine, you know, things oh, like I that. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Me, I am uh, a very, I'm physical. I, I like physical games i like having it you don't want digital you want physical i yeah. want physical i yeah. like the boxes i like the manual yeah i like the extras you get with it yeah i, I like the artwork um it's just a fun thing to have like yeah. to hold it in your hands and it harkens back to a day of uh, having an atari 2600 cartridge i think it's neat that they're still making games and physically putting it out yeah um, i so so i guess if i have an opinion i if it's a game that I like, I probably would want a physical copy. Yeah. But 
there may be games you want to buy and you want to support, right. but you're not necessarily super into them. Right. So I can see some people doing hybrid where oh, it's yeah, like yeah. you want the some physical would, copy of the don't. one that you really love. Yeah. But then there may be games that you're like, you know what? To support the developer, I'd spend $5 on their binary. Right. Right. So, so in that case, the one you would buy, what would be the top price you would pay for it? <sighs> I would buy the f I, I would be a one like you like I would buy it physically. Oh, yeah, but you yeah. said you'd also buy a binary. Yeah, for probably some five dollars. I buy I, I, okay. five to ten seems reasonable to me. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know, and I'm trying to figure out what it's equivalent. Hard to, it's hard to tell. Well, you buy all the, the games, so so that's the other yeah. part of it too. Is go, I never feel like I need to buy games because <laughs> and they go from like thirty. <laughs> these are U.S. dollars. They go from US, like yeah. 30 yeah. to 60, depending on the options and the audio hardware inside yeah. the cart yeah. and the bonuses. Some like 30 for the plain cartridge and yeah. like 60 for a box and a bunch of stuff. So yeah, <laughs> apparently I, I'm the only cheap skater. Well, I, I, it just completely depends on the game. And I'm trying yeah, to does. think of an equivalent of digital media that I buy. Because like, people are really used to buying digital games now. Very used to it. Yeah. And they are charging full price like the exact same oh, yeah. price yeah and you get nothing you yeah. get no manual you get no box you get but they don't even digital... offer those things for some games oh they don't ma offer manuals at all no so but you, you there's no physical version to offer for some games so and, all you can buy is the digital and some in the stores you yeah. go you buy a box you open it up and, and it has a code it yeah. has a code on yeah. it yeah you're like why did i buy this in the store mm -hmm. i could have just done this online mm -hmm. like just a box on a shelf mm -hmm. like I don't know. You could just make it your wallpaper at that point. I'm trying to on think your computer of an equivalency. Like I read a lot of books and I use an e-reader. And I have kind of three options for reading books. Yeah. I can download from the library, which I get. I can read it for three weeks for free. I can buy a copy. Yeah. Or I can physically buy the book. And nowadays, I do still physically buy books, but I'll yep. physically buy a book that I really love. Right. But I don't tend to physically buy books just to read them as much yeah and i will tend to download books for free but if i don't finish it and i really like it then i'll actually pay for the whole right. the whole value of the book so what's a book crossbow says? yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, and but th that's sort a, of a similar and idea and it's good to it's going to be interesting to see how people react to whatever price it is yeah. maybe it's settable maybe the developer can set the price yeah um because right now for digital games there's a huge range there's like a dollar yeah up to six like even higher than that eighty dollars for digital games yeah. depending on the type of games yeah, yeah and yeah, these yeah. are retro games so it depends on your mindset of you know how much effort did a developer put into the game or how like, much gameplay you get from it too that that's what more i would judge yeah. it's like what are you getting out of the game yeah. how many hours of gameplay yeah. maybe how much enjoyment I, I, is it, a replay value is it a one and done it's kind not of game? the only reason but it is a big reason to pay more for a digital download is yeah. is you know are you getting a game you're going to play for days or are you getting a game that you'll play a few times and put down and maybe come back to but it's not something you get a lot of play out of so yeah yeah. Um, so I want to thank everybody in the chat for tuning in live mm -hmm. on Twitch. Um, Splendid Nut, Crossbow, uh, Nathan Strum, Kev Kelly, Packrat, uh, Vitoko, Ground Trooper, did I say that? Miss Command, Nostalgic, uh, Armscar Coder, Marco Johannes, uh, our Atari 2600 dude, Al Nefer, uh, Anybody else I'm missing? I think that's most. Sorry if I missed mm -hmm. your name. A lot of people talking. Um, and we've... Oh, Fierro Doug, just nice. in time. <laughs> Jumped in there. We do have... Dan ABC. Dan ABC. He put his name. <laughs> oh, yes. Oops, scroll down. Uh, Dan ABC, Dan ABC. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good way of uh, yeah. telling us that we missed your name. <laughs> uh, so we have some mail to open... I'm, I'm very still... sure I know what this is, but not a hundred percent sure. Yeah. What's up, Fierro Doug? Uh... I don't know. What's up with you? Doing a show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exciting. Okay. So I got an official Atari gun. Mm. Seems to be missing its uh, logo on the side, though. Oh, check that picture. Oh, 
I need some glue. <laughs> oh, so no. it's not missing its uh, logo. Is that it only on one side? Out? Is oh, it supposed no. to be on both sides? Uh, probably. Did the other one fall off? Do you have two? Mm. Sketchy. I'll have to look at the pictures again. Mm. I have one so far in the box, but it's uh, an official XE gun. Nice. Um, so now I'll be able to contrast and compare the Sega Master System altered gun to the Atari gun and see which one's better because people say this is very inaccurate, uh -huh. but an altered Sega Master System is gun better? is better. Hmm. Yeah. I think it'll be fun to uh -huh. do a compare and contrast show. Yeah. So some... Al, uh, Crossbow says it's on both sides. So I don't know. Let's see what There's else one is One sticker. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to cry. I got it for a very good deal. Very good deal. But it also came with, because it was a package deal, this tablet. Oh, fancy. Uh, Atari touch tablet Ooh. that came with the computer systems. Nice. And you are familiar with this kind of thing because you yeah. had a koala pad. I had a koala pad on for the for my Commodore. Commodore. Now, if I'm and not I used it a lot. I really mistaken, liked it. this is the same exact technology. Mm. Like, exact. And they just made a bunch of different cases for it. Um, and it comes with a, a pen um, which with a little button that you can use to draw. And let me just look for that other sticker. So I'm a bit peeved. Not too peeved, but a little peeved. Nope, there's no other sticker. <laughs> oh well, I'll just show that one side of the gun. <laughs> um, so this plugs into um, an Atari. It's a nine pin. Mm. Uh, port uh, plug and it plugs into an Atari XE um, Atari computer line it was meant for mm. this doesn't have any application on a 2600 or 7800 as far as I know I haven't seen anybody make anything for this interesting but from what I gather this emulates two paddle controllers and one of these buttons emulates like, a button one point? is the x y potentiometer uh, one is one is the x and one is the y potentiometer yeah, yeah. so i'm going to try it right now on the on the 2600 on the 2600 just to see if it controls because in the same way because i've read it does and then i've read it does not oh that's kind of cool so does this have a little slot no it doesn't oh missed opportunity <laughs> um so let's see what it's going to do because one person said, no, it doesn't. Another person's like, yep. And because I saw somebody take it apart and fiddle with it. I believe it was the 8-bit guy. Caveman 2D. Fire up Kaboom! Kaboom. Oh, that's a good one. That would be a very good one, actually. But I was going to do... No, I should do Kaboom. Because that's a good, good test. Good test, yeah. yeah. So let's take a look. Oh, did I print it? All right. Damn it. Working? There we go. Let's switch it over so everyone else can see it. Oh, it's going crazy. Uh, maybe I should unplug it and then plug it in after. Mm. Oh, stinky cats. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody stinky. Uh, so... Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Hi. <laughs> Are you licking me after you licked your butt? I will take care of that. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, kaboom. Now wait till it loads, then we'll plug it in. Let's see if it goes nuts. No, it didn't go nuts. Let's see. <laughs> it's kind of working. It's it's working. Oh, 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 it's the up and down. Haha, <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Oh. oh, sheet is coming off. Ah. 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 It's very, very, very hard. It's very hard. Uh, I got eight points. Good job. <laughs> 
it does work. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, gonna beat my score. Oh, oh, made it to the second round. Do you have to hold it in place? Uh, you know, you move your finger up and down. You're a finger? So, yeah. But it's very sensitive. sensitive. I mean, it. oh, maybe I should use a pen. Yeah. That would be an idea. But it does work with your finger. Oh, do I have to press the button? Maybe. It's plugged in. Pen better work. Oh, you do have to press the button. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> ah! Ah! That's a little crazy. Can I do it anywhere? Oh, I can. Oh, that's better. Kaboom! With a touch tablet. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. 37. Mm -hmm. There we go. Emulates jittery paddles. Mm -hmm. So if you want a jittery paddle for yourself, mm -hmm. I was hoping this would work as the uh, as the paddle controller. So it's and it emulates on the x-axis paddle yeah. controller number two. Okay. So I was going to use uh, Medieval Mayhem as the test, which I'm going to do anyway. Mm. Because then I can show... Oh, that's ready. Because well, then I can show it moving both. Mm. Ready. I should be able to unwind this. Crazy. Let's just get to starting. There we go. Okay. Left and right is green. Up and down is purple. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So I should be able to control both. Oh, not at well. Once. <laughs> if I can concentrate. Let's try and catch it. Oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. There, I caught it. Oh, because one button is one. Yeah. And one button is the other. So I really only can catch it with the purple. With any kind of consistency. Oh, you're no match for me, Red. There we go. It's not bad for me to even make them, actually. Oh, green is kind of backwards. Is it? Because right is left and left is right. Oh, that's that's hard. Yeah. Yeah, Medieval Mayhem is amazing. Oh, can you press that button? That button, this oh, one? Oh, the left one. Yeah, just hold it down. Let's see if I can get green again. I'm going to show it green. Oh, there we go. Yep, so it is the other button. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, well, that's enough, because it's terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible input device for uh, gaming. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But, Very oh cool, though. God, that is super cool. Uh, literally, that's why I bought this. <laughs> Because I have no interest in drawing. Well, there must um, be games to to test it out with on the... Uh... So if anybody wants to make a 2600 game yeah. on a touch tablet, you know what the inputs are. It's just the two... Paddle inputs. Paddle inputs. So if you want to make a drawing game That's for cool. the 2600, yeah. that would be a fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. So, back to... I wonder our if it can work with driving games that use the driving paddle. Uh, driving paddle is very different. Is it? It's more like a joystick emulator, mm. the driving paddle. The driving controller. It's not a paddle. Mm. The paddle's the paddle. Um, so that came out in 1984 at a retail price of eighty nine ninety five. Out of there, cats. That would have been expensive. Very expensive. It came with a, a drawing program, too. Yeah. Um, so, um, very, very big news. Well... Kind of big news. Mm -hmm. um, there's an update to the Harmony Cart uh, uh, firmware today. And that's been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. um, and it was an uh, update to be able to use Superbank games, of which there is one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that one is Circus Convoy. Oh, so, ah, I see. I um, see. So Batari posted five hours ago, um, I worked on this last night so that people have a chance to, 
at enjoying the game on the Harmony Encore when it arrives. Uh, when I said quick and dirty, I meant it because he said uh, this will be a quick and dirty interim release but based on the 1.06 firmware. Uh, there'll be no other changes. <laughs> this is because new Encore firmware 2.0 is undergoing ground up reprogramming mm. and it's not re even ready for a beta at this time. Okay. Um, I just replaced the DF bank switch code uh, with SB bank switch code, super, super banking. Um, if you install this firmware, note that DF will no longer function on your cart unless you revert to an older firmware. There are two, currently only two schemes that use 128K binaries, DF and DFSC, and I believe the Penult demos use DFSC. There's currently no released DF games, so that's why he replaced it, because you're not losing any functionalities. So, uh, let me show you Circus Convoy booting up on the Harmony cart, which is awesome because I had to test the game. Oh, Foobsiet, thanks for following. Because uh, I had to test this on... Um, on through emulation, mm. right? Uh, there we go. Let's go down to today. Circus Convoy. It's a big game. Mm -hmm. kicks, kicks into E. There you go. Beautiful. So this will be ready uh, for next week for when everybody's able to download the binary. So, uh, thank you, Batari, uh, f for that. That'll be uh, great for a lot of people. We won't be playing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be playing it on uh, when it gets released. Yes. On the day of yeah. the release. We'll be doing a Very full playthrough cool. of that. Yeah, Very super, cool. super cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Marco Johannes has made a, an Atari 2600 video player. Uh, mm -hmm. and he has upgraded the kernel for his pit cat game. He messaged me on February 20th. He said, hi James, uh, an update on what I'm doing. I've rewritten the pit cat kernel and managed to eliminate the horizontal and vertical gaps between calls, uh, cells. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, add ninth and 10th cells on the far right. They could be used for a scoreboard, uh, for another game. Uh, the kernel uses a special trick, which does an illegal amount of horizontal mo motion mm -hmm. plus eight movement by strobing each move before the start of the line. Some other programmers, including Thomas Yench, have used the trick before. Normally, normally only plus seven is available regularly. Mm -hmm. So let's quickly take a look at the old pit cat, so everybody oh, can no. um, compare it. Uh, that would definitely mm -hmm. be the old one. And you can see what it looks like beforehand and what it's been changed to. So you can see, I think it's, it's readily, easily uh, visible there. Yeah. So you can see the, sorry, this is really loud. Just realized that. There you go. So you can see the horizontal gaps and the vertical gaps, those mm -hmm. kind of things there. So let's take a look at his new code. Which he just sent over to me, I think today, yesterday. Can't really see it here, <laughs> but so there you go. So everything is right up against each other. Um, yes, the firmware is needed to play Circus Convoy. Yes. Uh, no, the Uno Unicart Uno Cart Uno Cart. What I said the Uno Cart cannot play Circus Convoy as of right now unless he's just released um, an update, which mm -hmm. I believe he can do quite easily. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, the Uno card can do uh, a lot of a lot of stuff, but it can't write Circus Convoy yet. But I'm sure he's in the works of doing that. Um, so there is um, his updated driver for PitCat. Nice. And what he has done with this is made a video player because all the pieces are put together so you can make a very cohesive um, and he calls it the Atari 2600 video concept. Uh, it was of interest to know if PitCat kernel could be used to play color video. Let me turn that off. It's loud. I'm trying to talk. 
Um, the original need of the video concept was to test a glitch PitCat caused on James's console. Monochrome video has been done before. Dancing Baby, Bad Apple. Bad Apple's like a 512K game. It's massive. Not a game. It's a demo. Demo. And it plays like a continuous video, I think, at like mm. 10 frames a second? 15? I think we've seen it. Yeah. Uh, the implementation allows for a 64 by 32 pixel monochrome texture with an 8 by 8 color cell matrix with one of 128 colors available for each color cell. Can change color and texture in one frame, allowing 60 frames per second video. It can be slowed down to 30 frames a second, 20 frames a second, 15 frames a second. So he sent over a bunch of um, examples. I'm going to um, leave the the best one for last. Um, this one is, I would say, the second best one. It does have some music to it, too. Oh, wow. So you can kind of get an idea what that is. It's a car <laughs> landing for a very high height, a rally car. <laughs> um, uses a newly developed kernel for PitCat Revision 3 with exploits, an undocumented TIA glitch, which helps achieve drawing on the screen without vertical and horizontal gaps between tiles. Wow. Uh, to produce the video information during compile time, video data is encoded in two processes to, pr to produce texture and color data. The process uses tools such as Image Magic, GIMP, Binary, and Hex Conversion, and Excel. So far, Grayscale, Threshold, and Edge Detection has been used to create monochrome textures. Creating the color data involves shrinking each frame to an 8x8 image and extracting the color. The shrinking process averages the color over the whole color cell area into a single color mm. used for the color cell. So mm. you can see each 8x8 is a it's single color. Color, yeah. yeah. Um, now, you can actually slow this down to one frame a second, or I'm guessing that's like five or ten, and you can speed it up. Uh, this is probably 60 frames a second. This is normal, and you can pause it as well with the button with this player. So you can kind of see the car there in midair. That's yeah. pretty contrasty. Yeah. I mean, it's better in motion, so of cool. course. And he has the frame <laughs> count at the bottom. Hold that for a second. Mm -hmm. I'll boot up the second one, which I think is... <laughs> now someone needs to convert the Lord of the Rings trilogy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So Load how up the second many... One. Which one? Uh, first one. This one? First. Up. That one. Yep. And then uh, Simpsons. I'm very excited. Look at this. And it's oh, them jumping it's on the It's a bit muddy, but it is, you saw you know what it is. I know what it is because of the you've music. Seen it so many and, times. Yeah, yeah, we've seen it probably ten thousand times in our life. <laughs> um, so creating the uh, with E7 16K bank switching, it can fit 30 frames into the ROM. This is equivalent to one second of video at 30 frames a second. This is obviously very limiting. Mm. Even if the ROM was expanded to 512K, mm. this would still be only be 32 seconds of wow. footage. <laughs> the bigger picture wow. of the concept would be able to stream video from an SD card. <gasps> such uh, concepts have been implemented on early computers such as the ZX Spectrum with aftermarket SD card interfaces. Wow. So he's thinking ahead of actually literally putting lord of the rings on an sd card and then like and having a video player play it that's hilarious it looks like a broken link <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the first digital bootleg movies i've ever seen yeah mm -hmm. like back in the uh, late 90s i would yeah, say yeah late 90s i remember watching it's like postage stamp versions of i remember but even when it got like the matrix better i remember yeah. watching movies on my computer in the late 90s late 90s that were bootlegs that people recorded yep. and they were so dark you couldn't see what oh, was that happening because they're, the th they're in the theater they're in the theater but they were terrible the current video bit rate is 10 kilobits per second or 36 megabytes an hour yeah so 36 megs for an hour so you you're up to like almost 50 megs for a movie on an sd card which is nothing uh, within a 16 gigabyte card, it would possibly be possible to store 444 hours of footage. 
And 16 gigs are nothing. Like, that's the minimum now. Could you record yourself and send it to someone? Sure. Do a little video, a little video yeah. message? Yeah. Yeah. How cool would that be? Um, you'd have to also There's no, no the sound. audio. Well, the audio wouldn't be. But he's got music. So well, there's, the music you could do. There's a possibility if he upgrades his video player to do um, line by line audio uh, processing, you can. Uh, encode speech as well. Could you? Yeah, because it's been done on um, Draconian. They did speech for that. And really? There's speech in a number of Atari games. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Uh, there's currently no video compression whatsoever. Okay, so let's go to the third one, which I think is the best one. Uh, textures and colors are stored in a raw format. Nope, that's uh, three days ago. Go up. No, back down what to 19. Oh, 19. There we go. Uh, 16, 19. Uh, same thing. Uh, what was it? Atari video. So good. A Sprint Cat. Oh. Has good music, too. <laughs> <laughs> because it's essentially black and white. Yeah. 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 That's hilarious. Uh, textures and colors are stored in the raw format in order to provide maximum throughput. Given the huge capacity of SD cards, this isn't a problem. Atari Vox for the soundtrack. <laughs> Hysterical idea. <laughs> yes. I love. I like the black lines between the tiles and Pitcat. I use the same idea in the A8 uh, 10 liner. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So he says, here are three demonstration videos stored on 16 kilobyte ROMs. Rally, this shows an airborne car land on the ground. Texture is created with thresholding. Fast movement of the car and scenery helps the viewer believe the animation. Yes, it's Detail true. of the scene is not as important as the movement. Mm. Color plays a small role in conveying the sky, mountainside, and the road. Sprint Cat. It's a video of a cat sprinting on grass. The texture is also created with thresholding. The large size and fluid motion movement of the cat is encoded in black texture. Makes the scene believable. So you can... There's a kitty. Pause it with the button. Slow it down. That's a sprinting cat. Uh, the texture is everything in the video. Color doesn't play a significant role. Simpsons. A video of the Simpsons sitting on the couch. The video uses edge detection rather than threshold and create solid black lines around the objects as opposed to relying on large moving black objects in the first two videos. It uses the color to the highest degree out of all the demos. However, it struggles with an overload of detail and color in the scene. So he's given three examples of which each of them relies on a different thing. Movement, color, and... Um, I don't know what this one is. Uh, just, just black and white, essentially. Um, so future goals. The next goal is to have sound. He is thinking of that. 8 kilohertz, 4-bit digitized sound would accompany the video. The concept is yet to be proven. It's estimated the video bit rate would double to 20 kilobits per second, 72 megs per hour. With more cart RAM, it would be possible to host a second kernel to fill the interlaced lines using 30 hertz flicker. So right now this is not flickering. So if he goes back and forth it and flickers, it would be much more detailed. It would yeah. double the detail. Mm. The ultimate goal is to stream video off an SD card. The easiest way I can see this is working is one of the ROM banks is used with bank switching to substitute on a regular basis by an overarching process running on the SD reader cartridge. The video player would just keep reading banks and drawing to the screen while the content is selected by the SD card cartridge. Mm -hmm. It would be possible to increase the resolution of the video from 64 to 96 pixels with bus stuffing. So it can be even wider. Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, another third wider. This scheme should be capable of updating texture and color cells for a m complete medium space triple copied player Venetian blinds kernel. Conven conventional banking schemes are unable to match this throughput. Thank you for watching the demo. Mm. So there you go. That's cutting very, edge very 2600 cool. <laughs> video <laughs> player. Edge. It is. It's crazy. It's very it's, cool. It's madness. It's madness what he's doing. <laughs> but anyway. Craziness. Craziness. That's what I say. <laughs> Madness. He is pushing the limits yet again. Um, another incredible visual feat posted recently, today, mm. uh, actually the past couple days, is Andrew Davies' new demo that combines his chrono color and a 48 pixel sprite grid. He mm -hmm. hasn't posted a binary of it yet, so we'll take a look at the video he posted on the Atari H forums mm -hmm. that combines his chess kernel that he's been working on for a while mm -hmm. with a picture of a crown. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so let's switch back to this. You be a good cat. Be a good cat. Okay, website. There we go. So uh, he said, uh, "What's <laughs> Carl G said? What's your secret? Let me bask in the glory of being the only one to know." And that's why he hasn't released a binary. Yet. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'll share it soon. Uh -huh. The video shows a 48 pixel sprite grid as a large object just to show it all working properly. The limitations are that the sprite is effectively transparent. You see the play field behind it, which is kind of a cool effect. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want a more solid look, you have to mask the play field pixels behind the large sprite to zero black. Not a major issue, um, but not done in this demo. So now it's I've pressed play. And... Uh, and he's actually moving the play field a single play field pixel at a time mm. with the crown on top of it. That's amazing. And he posted um, in on the uh, Facebook group Atari 2600 Homebrew and Hacks today. Um, somebody asked, oh, Jason Shellhorn asked, how close the play field chess pieces display to the Boulder Dash routines? Are they similar or completely different? Andrew Davy says, not very close. The Boulder Dash pieces were four play field pixels wide and could scroll at only four play field pixel resolution. The chess pieces, let me play that again for everyone. It's no sound. Uh, the chess pieces are five play field pixels wide and can scroll at a one play field pixel resolution. Mm. Boulder Dash are tricolor, alternating colors and pixels on three consecutive scan lines, uh, say red, green, blue, to form a visually combined pixel of eight colors. Chess uses a chrono color, which combines red, green, blue on alternate frames on every scan line, altering the pixels as well on every scan line to form a 20 hertz color blended pixel of triple the resolution of Boulder Dash. Mm. They are the same in so far that they're using color blending, but the actual implement implementation is quite a ways apart and share no code whatsoever. Um, so that is like these these things that people are doing are just unbelievable, <laughs> like crazy pushing the limits the image, still yeah. every day yeah. of the 2600. I, uh, I can s see this making some really neat looking title screens. Oh, yes. yeah, you can have scrolling in behind a big um a big sprite yeah yeah and just like something scrolling upwards or down mm -hmm. yeah it's just unbelievable um and there's a proof of concept of an, a possible upcoming port of a game that i can't mention mm -hmm. uh posted in the 7800 form um because uh they asked me not to talk about it um on the stream so here i am not talking about it um, so if you'd like to go over there and take a look, uh, it's really, really impressive. Cool. Um, it's, it's a, a favorite game of mine, actually. It's really, uh, it's up there. Okay. Not my favorite, but it's One a favorite of, of mine and yeah. they've done a really good job. So oh, check it out. Cool. Um, and I'm really for looking forward to watching it develop and yeah. hopefully playing it on the show. Yeah, if they, eventually. if yeah. they let me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said no, Aww. cause they're, they're still working on it. Afraid probably. of, no. Afraid of the big N. That's oh, what they're afraid of. Oh, I see. I yes. see. So, uh, yeah. Okay. That's fine. You know. You know. Who's the big N? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, for reasons. For reasons. Reasons. Yeah. Good enough. Good enough. Yep. Yeah, and I, I respect that. Yeah. Um, the big N has gone after other things before. Yeah. yeah. And we at least want it to get to completion. Yeah. Um, so that we can all enjoy it. Because, you know, you tip them off too early and, uh, you know, they can't complete what they want to do. Okay, so on to the main show here. Uh, Dragonfly. Yeah. Which is... Uh, oh, let's switch back. Which is the one of two 7800 SD cart solutions that uses SD cards. Yes. So you can play games on your 7800. Yes. Um, there have been ones in the past, like the Cuddle Cart, and um, there was another one, Mateos, I believe, mm -hmm. as well, before my time, uh, getting into homebrew. But this one and the Concerto are both available mm -hmm. as they get produced right now. Mm -hmm. So, I, I got the Concerto uh, first, 
And then I got the Dragonfly just um, recently. So I wanted to do a special on the Dragonfly cart. Nice. And its capabilities and how it's different and the same as the Concerto cart. Ow. This cat is yes. very... 7800 flash cart. So because for a long time, people weren't able to play 7800 games. Yeah on their 7800 because they're so limited mm. like just impossible you just yeah. couldn't buy something to play mm -hmm. them so you had to play them in emulation mm -hmm. which was a little annoying we did it for a while and then i was like nope i'm, I'm gonna get one of those concerto carts and also dragonfly carts yeah. so when you order the dragonfly cart mm -hmm. yep no no you go ahead you go ahead say what you have oh, to actually, say let's see i've got some other stuff first yeah uh, before I you think. jump into the dragonfly um, so the Dragonfly cartridge was created by a Polish-based hard Polish-based hardware developer RJ1307, <laughs> yep. who also created an SD card-based Lynx cartridge two years ago, mm. and he sold uh, just under 300 copies of that from April 27, 2019, to July 6, 2020. So he sold it for a year. So my policy is when something like this comes out, is buy it mm. right away as quickly as you can because you never know when they're going to stop making them mm. it's like okay i've sold enough it's trickling out it's a lot of effort to make them so i i highly suggest if you're interested in either concerto or uh this one snap them get up it as soon as you can yeah because you just yeah. never know mm -hmm. um so he posted about the dragonfly august 15th 2020 so not really that long ago for the first mm -hmm. time he said i i let me show you the page. Uh, said, uh, hi, I wanted to present you with my version of the Atari 700 SD cartridge. Uh, what you can see in the photos is a prototype version of what I learn on which version on which I learn how to use. The cartridge will be operated using four buttons and the display. Of course, it will be in uh, the housing. Mm. It won't be like that monstrosity. So he posted some pictures of it and showing that it was playing. Um, some some games, mm. uh, Activision Absolute game, uh, EXO that we're playing tonight, mm -hmm. which is a was a two fifty six k. Now it's a five twelve k. Oh, it's game. gone. Ooh. It's huge. Yeah. Bump Donkey up. Kong XM, which we're nice. going to be uh, demoing as well, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so he says there's also a sticker on the cartridge designed by a colleague of mine, uh, Motion Ride, and it's a very very cute. Dragon, dragonfly it is. picture. Although we are running into issues with it sticking. Yeah. We'll yeah. have to fix that up a little. Yeah. So the dragonfly cart is seemingly kind of a spiritual successor to this, uh, which is the XM module, which was um, made developed by the late uh, Kurt Vendel. Mm -hmm. uh, the XM module had a high score cart system built in to keep track of scores. Mm -hmm. 128k of extra RAM for programmers, um, a Pokey chip, and a YM chip, a Yamaha chip, yeah. uh, amongst a bunch of other things. Wow. And uh, what it did was kind of a, an add-on pass-through. It wasn't a cartridge in itself. It just sat on top? It sat on your 7800 system, gotcha. and then you put a cartridge in it, and that mm. allowed those games to access those chips inside the module. Mm -hmm. So that you had a Pokey chip all the time, you had a, y, a Yamaha chip and the high score carts mm. and the extra RAM, and you'd have to program the game to access that. Mm. And that's, you know, a really elegant solution because then you don't have to sell a Pokey chip built into each cartridge every time. Mm. You buy it once and you're done. Um, but, you know, you can't, you can't play any game you want. You can't play homebrew. You have to buy the cartridge, which mm -hmm. is totally fine. And makes a lot of sense. It's like an upgrade, right? And there's all the information about it on that page. Um, and uh, also, speaking of the XM module, this was posted just hours ago, actually, by the same developer who made the Dragonfly cart. Uh, I think I have the page up. Yes. Uh, posted three hours ago, probably four now. Uh, he says, I confirm it. Soon I will develop an adapter with the YM2151 module and will work with any cartridge. Homebrew, Concerto, uh, Cuddle Cart 2, Mateos. Mm. So he's going to make that, what we just saw, wow. in, a, in essence. But it won't only work with cartridges that you buy. Mm. It will work with the Concerto cart as well. So if you have a Concerto cart, 
you can put an SD card in the concerto card and then and this will add on an extra pokey chip an wow. extra YM uh, yeah. a Yamaha chip wow or you can buy games that are made mm -hmm. and it'll add those capabilities as well wow. this is brand new information everyone there are probably cool. two versions one in the old through hole technology like mm -hmm. we kind of just saw uh, and a smaller, uh, matching the case from the original game, the older version in SMD technology, which I had to look up, surface mount device. Um, so that means, I guess he's going to sell it so people can add it to their cartridges. Uh, a smaller one matching the case from 3D printing. Both vers versions will have identical functionality. I'll publish a documentation of both versions in the forum. Anyone who will be able to make the same adapter, for those who cannot, I've already made SMD versions available mm -hmm. for sale. So uh, there's no timeline on there, but he says soon. And he's very quick. Like he announced Dragonfly and like six months later it was out. Wow. And it's for sale. Cool. He's very, very fast. Cool. Because he's made hardware before and he's a track record. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So, let's <laughs> unbox Dragonfly card, even though we did it before. We did. Um, so, what you get when you order it... Uh, let me switch over. Oh, actually, before I start on this, um, we're just going to do kind of an overview of it. We're not going to go super in-depth. Okay. And if you do want to go super in-depth, definitely check out Crossbow's um, uh, video. Crossbow's in the chat. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is at Ivory Tower Collections. And he opens it up and looks at everything nice. and he shows you how to adjust things. He's also got a purple one, I notice. Uh, yep. Yep. Yep, because I got a purple one. <laughs> I was going to get a red one and you saw the pictures. I was like, no purple. Purple. You need get purple. The purple. Yeah, I'm, and yeah. So I got the purple one. Yes. Yeah, the, um, the sticker yep. does peel off. Yeah. It, it does a little it it just needs a little adhesive I think on the backing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. go full screen. Well, again. we have some adhesive. I think we'll put a yeah, little Yeah, we have more. spray adhesive. Yeah. And other people have noticed this yeah. as well. Yeah. Um so I'll I'll fix yeah. that. Um what you get with it, uh I believe you get this, which is a power adapter that is passes through the power mm. from the dragonfly cart which has a power in i'll go close up in a second a power in mm -hmm. and then a power out and you plug that into the power out and then you plug this into your 7800 and this will pass the power through from the cartridge to the 7800 so you only need one plug mm -hmm. so you don't do use two the reason i'm not using it is because i use the concerto as well with the concerto i have to use the original plug so i might as well use both plugs and keep mm -hmm. one in the 7800 there is another optional plug that you can get. So if you've mo modified your 7800 to use a barrel type plug, this also provides power out because some people have modified it because yeah. these are very weird special plugs yeah. that some people have found sources to. I, I can't remember what it was, like a alarm clock or something. Something strange people s found that some other manufacturer was using these. <laughs> they found a source for them. That's funny. It is. So, uh, oh, yeah, you can print your own color. RJ posted the STL file. Yeah, so that's you, very cool. So if you don't like it, you can make a glow-in-the-dark one. <gasps> you can make a multicolored one. I think we need to get a... Um, so I'm going to show these close up. I think we need to get a 3D printer. Uh, oh, be I bet so you would fun. have fun with that. I would have so much fun with that. So here is the cartridge. Um, for those of you who have not seen It'd it last rainbow. time. Rainbow. We'd be making rainbow cartridges. Oh, yeah. Little cats. Glitter. Can you make? Can you put glitter in the plastic? I uh, think you should be able to. Maybe. I, I would figure it out. So there's, a <laughs> there's the buttons on the top. There's the uh, LCD readout. There is the SD card. There's a USB port for directly interfacing with your computer. Mm. Um, there's where you plug it in. It's very dark. <laughs> Unicorn shaped cartridge, yes. There's Glow the in the dark. <laughs> There's the back of it. Nice. Uh, it's it's very nice, very te nice texture. Yeah, on it. it is. Really I I do like the purple. I really have to say I like the purple. I like how it matches with the uh, the sticker. I know it's just aesthetics. I know I'm not talking about you know the internals of it, but I just I think I think it looks really nice. There's the power <laughs> power switch. Nice. There's the power. There's the pass through power. Yeah. Um. So, speaking of power, mm. this is the power adapter mm. I got. 
Um, he offered a neon green case shell. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of set uh, on the purple. The purple is nice. The purple is nice. So this one I got from, uh, it's a Triad Magnetics power supply. Um, I got from Mauser.ca. Mm -hmm. Mauser. Um, and it just because it was a Canadian and I saved on shipping. Um, so it's just a power adapter. You just have to make sure it's the right amount of power, mm -hmm. the right, right voltage, and right, voltage right mm -hmm. amperage. It has the right plus minus pin on it, right size pin. Mm -hmm. um, definitely don't just buy it. Make sure you get the right one. There's mm -hmm. a list of them in the Atari Age forums so that you get you the right one. You don't, you don't fry, fry it. it. Yeah. No one you wants do not to want to fry it. It no. is it's not an inexpensive cartridge. Um, so let's actually get to the prices here. Mm. Um the prices for this. There's all the things, you yeah. know, close up. Yeah, the red uh, and the, the purple were there. You just showed, again, talking oh, about colors. Yeah, yeah, there's the colors. Yeah, they're both really nice, but I, I'm quite fond of they're the purple. Very, very nice colors. He yeah. uh, describes them as burgundy and purple. Yeah, they're. Yeah. I mean, the purple is darker. Yeah. 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 It's very a pretty nice. good representation of yeah, what the color I think is. So. Yeah. So the cart itself is 95 US dollars, which is, you know, very reasonable for what you get. Um, but if you want it fully loaded, mm. um, you can, you get the pokey max, which is like a double pokey plus, um, well, we'll get into the audio in a second. Um, and then a YM2151 for $27. Uh, the pokey max is $43. And then you get the optional plug, which I just got because uh, who knows what I'm going to do in the future, mm -hmm. um, for $5. And you probably buy those anywhere. They're just plugs. They're just barrel plugs short barrel plugs and shipping is extremely reasonable at six dollars mm -hmm. anywhere in the world mm -hmm. it's it's amazing um yeah there is an active pre-order list right now um it took well, i posted it earlier four weeks to get to canada mm -hmm. shipping slow right now mm -hmm. so don't expect it overnight <laughs> Or even in a couple of days, it's going to take a little bit. It took us a, a little while. And he yeah. gets and he gets through the orders fairly quick. Yeah. Um, so audio chip options. So the Dragonfly comes with two optional sound chips, uh, the Pokemax and the Yamaha YM2151 chip in it. Uh, the first one is you know the Poke chip. Most people are familiar with it. Um, it uh, Poke stands for the Pot Keyboard Integrated Circuit and was used in Atari 8-bit computers, uh, the Atari XEGS, and the Atari 5200. And I did take uh, a Pokey chip out of the 5200 to put in my concerto card. Um, it was not built into the 7800, which was kind of a misstep, because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's still, at the basics, the 7800 is a TIA sound chip, yeah, which is the same as the 2600 sound. So people are like, what yeah. is this old sound? Yeah. Um, but it did come, uh, they did have pokey chips on two games, Ball Blazer and Commando. On the game itself. Yeah. On the game itself on the chip. So mm -hmm. people sacrificed a lot of Ball Blazer games. Yeah, for pokey chips. A lot chips. of destroyed Ball Blazer <laughs> games. Yeah. It produces four voices of distinctive square wave sound, either as clear tones or modified with a number of distortion settings. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the dual... The Pokey Max is not just two Pokey chips, which gives you eight voices. It also has this of sorts, a Kovox on it. it. Took me a bit to figure out what the hell Kovox is, mm -hmm. because Kovox represents a bunch of product products. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a digital to analog converter. It just straight converts okay. digital to analog, which allows for encoding speech, encoding music. It's not a wavetable. It's like straight, it's going to produce sound like a recording, like on a CD. Oh, okay. Much lower wow. resolution. Yeah. yeah much, yeah. much, much, much lower resolutions. Yeah. I mean, yeah, crossbow. I, I sacrificed my 5200 for a pokey chip as well. Um, so this was a little harder to find information because there's a bunch of varieties of this. This one I'm showing you right now is a PC version of a Kovox. You plugged it into your parallel port. Okay. And it had an audio out, which you plugged into speakers. Mm. So the one on the uh, Dragonfly is internal. It's in line. It mixes the sound in. Okay. So you 
when you have a 7800 and this cart, it essentially has a TIA, two Pokies, Kovox, mm -hmm. and the YM chip, which gives you I, I don't everything. Even, I don't even know how <laughs> many channels. Okay. The Yamaha has eight channels. Okay. So you have eight channels on the Yamaha, eight channels on the dual pokey, uh, and so that's 16 plus mm -hmm. two more on the TIA. That's 18 channels wow. of audio. Wow. Plus Kovox. Wow. If you're if you have time to do all of them, which I don't yeah. know if that's possible. Yes, the Kovox and dual pokey are only available if you add the pokey max to it. So these are add-on chips. Gotcha. And I would highly suggest adding all of them for future proofing. Yeah. Because you don't know what games are going to come out that may be released maybe in, need it. Yeah. in in binary format because they're going to be selling just digital games now and people mm -hmm. are going to be able to make them. Yeah. Um, standard Pokey chips on the DF cart won't be able to do, do Kovacs or dual Pokey mode. So if you take a 5200 out, uh, a Pokey out of a 5200 mm -hmm. and put it on the Dragonfly, it's just still a Pokey. It's not a double pokey. Mm. Doesn't have Kovox. Thank you, Crossbow, for the additional information. Like I said, definitely watch Crossbow's video. <laughs> yeah. It has so much information. Nice. Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, so, yeah, the YM chip was used in a lot of arcade games. Uh, mm. The first one being Marble Madness, which has beautiful, beautiful music. Mm. I love the music in Marble Madness. And a bunch of pinball tables made by Williams. It was also used in home computers, the Sharp X1 and X68000. And also, it is used, is going to be used, in the Commander X16. Do you remember what that is? That is David Murray's new computer, the 8-bit guy's new computer that oh, he's working on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a modern retro computer that he kind of is styling after a mix of all the old computers kind of merged into one with kind of off-the-shelf components mm. so that they don't go out of date. So somebody could keep making this com new new retro computer. Mm. And he chose the YM chip because I, I'm guessing they're readily available. Uh, actually, it's a mod I think it might be a modified version of the, the YM chip. So mm. anyway. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to the 8-Bit Guy's channel... Who doesn't miss, know the 8-Bit guy? <laughs> you're, you're missing out. He yeah. is, his channel is just a variety of geeky stuff. Yeah. It's so lots good. Lots of hardware, lots of re we, restoring computers. And, and we watched him speak at uh, the pet I port. would not know what Retrobrite was if it wasn't exactly. for the 8-Bit guy. <laughs> if you love Retrobrite, <laughs> you'll love his channel. Yeah. And you'll learn all about retrobriting. When, when, when you add words into your vocabulary. Retrobriting uh, old yeah. plastic. That's a good yeah. question, Scott Lennox. It does not enhance audio for 7800 games. Mm. It ha the game has to use it. Like It has mm. to say, I want to use a pokey chip and mm. send signals to the pokey chip. Um, if you have a dragonfly cart and you download... A binary of a game that uses it mm. then yes it'll start using the pokey chip and the yamaha chip mm. which is what we're going to demonstrate right now okay. um and i've got demos for dual pokey mm. music uh pokey games yamaha music and yamaha games so wow. it shows a little bit of everything and i'm going to show one of each so that nice. we can just get through them nice um and and show you how it works yeah um, so first off, we're going to uh, show you uh, a dual pokey music track. So you just plug it in like <laughs> normal. Uh, and you plug the power on. And you make sure it's all good. And I am going to actually show you close up um, the display so you can get a good sense of it. What it looks like. Hopefully, people can still hear me. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go really close. I'm running away. I'm coming back. Though. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> so there's the display. Uh, it's gonna be a little out of focus because it's really gonna have trouble focusing and getting the exposure right. So there are four buttons. Uh, one, the first one's escape. The other one's up, the other one's down, and the other one is enter. And it's actually very, very easy uh, to uh, navigate. So that's today's date. I'm going to press enter. And uh, these are the pokey games. 
Uh, YM Games. Oh my goodness. There we go. It focused for a second. Uh, Pokey Music. So let's press Enter. And we're going to play the Outrun Music. So you press Enter on it. Uh, it shows you the name of it. And it says, Turn on the console. I'm going to put this back. I'm going to switch over to the console. It's already going to be playing the music. Crossbow, I called it. <laughs> uh, so let's switch over to the S video input. And. So this is a very, very, very famous song. This is from the uh, arcade game Outrun, which is a driving game. Mm. And it's such good music. You probably heard it in passing. I don't know. I've, I've, I've played it in the <laughs> I don't car. play a lot of driving games. <laughs> yep. So this uses uh, the dual pokey mm. um, for music. So it's using, it, it doesn't say how many channels, but up to eight, mm. at least more than four. Mm. This is made by Eagle, uh, who's posted a bunch of songs nice. in the Atari Age forum. Nice. So if you want to demo a bunch of pokey music, um, you can uh, download some of these songs. So you guys can listen to all these on, on your own. And the next one mm -hmm. I'm going to play is, I selected it as a bonus mm -hmm. song. So all you do is turn off the power and you can actually just Load up the next one, and then when it says turn on the console, turn on the console. Let's see if you know what song this is. It's a popcorn song. <laughs> it's the popcorn song. So, so, so the reason why he, he brings this up <laughs> is I grew up in, in Ontario. And uh, I went to a French immersion elementary school, and every, I don't know, second day we would have gym class, and our warm up was always running around the gym to the popcorn song. <laughs> every single gym class. Um, and it, it has a fond, fond place in my heart, this song. So I love the popcorn song. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I just have pictures of running around in circles. So now we're going to uh, <laughs> Love it. show a pokey game. <clears throat> so this is Donkey Kong XM by TEP392. And if you play the original Donkey Kong... Uh, that was put out for the 7800 and then played this one. Uh, it is night and day. Oh my god. Such good sounds. Like it's, yeah. it sounds perfect. Mm hmm. And uh, yeah, the original one is just terrible, terrible sounds. Because it's using the TIA chip, right? That's all it had to at its disposal. I'm gonna finish this one by <laughs> It's hard when you start to not keep playing. Woo, just. It is. Nice. Yeah, it's such good sound. It's amazing. Very good sound. Okay. Hold that. Mm -hmm. Or actually, we'll put it on the ground because we're going to do sounds next. Okay. Music. Uh, so now we're going to move on to um, uh, the Yamaha sound. Okay. Um, and play some demos for that. No. Now this is a, a tracker that was made by Revenge, and this music is by Synth Popalooza. Nice. 
Uh, this is music from Zanak. Wow, it sounds great. It does. It's just amazing. Nice crisp sounds. Yep. And you can see eight voices. Yeah. Playing. Yeah. Uh, let's start that again. Because <laughs> we missed the beginning. Because it has to figure out what S video is. Very nice. Uh, and there's one other song as well. A uh, very ad lib sounding, yes. Mm -hmm. I haven't bought a 7800 yet because of the sounds alone. Well, now you have no excuse whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> there's beautiful sound coming from a 7800 yeah. now. Oh. You're no longer confined to Ball Blazer and Commando. <laughs> Uh, now we're going to take a look at Yamaha sounds in game. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the distinct difference between TIA sound. Okay. And Yamaha sound. Okay. And this is uh, like you can co you can compare compare them. the two. Okay. And this is a perfect example. This is the Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition. Okay. Um, put out put out by Bob De Crescenzo. Uh, so. Where are we? The Yamaha game. There we go. Oh, oh, did I load the wrong one? Oh, one second. I think I loaded the wrong one. Yep, I did. TIA first. Yeah, but are you going to show us like the best sounding TIA sound ever though? This one's not bad. This is not bad TIA sound. Mm. I mean, it's 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 very functional. There's, there's some wizards with TIAs. Oh, I, yeah. I will give you that. Mm -hmm. Like wizards. So let's just compare pa Miss Pac-Man to Miss Pac-Man so that we have a baseline. Okay. Uh, let's just start at the basics. So it's fine, you know. Very yeah, functional. Fine, functional. Yeah, sounds, sounds like good. Pac sounds like Miss Pac-Man. Get the ghost. Yep. All sounds good. Let's get that one more ghost. Let's get the cherry. Just to be complete. Because <laughs> you can't <laughs> play Miss Pac-Man without getting the cherry. Of course. No. And one more power pellet. Let's see if we can get all four ghosts. They're splitting up. They know how to do it. <laughs> oh no, am I gonna get them? Let's just run into them anyway. Just get all the sounds. Okay, I'll let you play the second game. All right. Okay. So now, let's hear the YM sounds. And it's really good to compare these two. Yeah. So you just, it's, it's night and day. Yeah. Yep, just press it. Oh, we're on this one. Yep, and again. Oh, yeah. Like arcade. Arcade sounds. Make sure you get a power pellet. Just rich. Rich, rich, rich sounds. Get that cherry. Get the cherry. Oh, oh no. I didn't mean to go that way. Oh, get the cherry! No! <laughs> Remember, you're going to be tested on your Pac-Man skills. Uh, oh, on, uh, I'm going to have to practice. In April, when we do the spotlight on Bob, it's all about Pac-Man. <laughs> so many Pac-Mans. So little time. Yeah, Dan says, just like the arcade. My question to those who know, can you get such good sound on TAA and only update the sound channels once per frame? Or is it multiple updates per frame trick? Uh, the multiple updates per frame, frame trick are like... Okay, I'm going to die. For the... It's oh, great. yeah. Beautiful, beautiful that's, sound. That's such yeah. the arcade sound, too. So you can see... Um, nice. It says Yamaha sound. Because oh. he used to, used to say XM. Okay. And this was just released a couple days ago. So oh, if you okay. haven't updated and downloaded, these are like the final versions that he's releasing. Cool. It's like he's got the TIA version and the Yamaha, Yamaha. version. Nice. So if you've got uh, the Dragonfly cart, mm. grab the Yamaha sound one and it works great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. So 
that is uh, that's the big overview mm. of the dragonfly cart. It's a quick overview. Quick. Very. Yeah. Of the of the sound chips. Yeah. Yeah, of the sound chips and the basics. Um, downsides to it. Mm. It's only two that I really have a problem with. One can be fixable. Actually, they're both fixable. One by you and and one by um, uh, a firmware update possibly. Uh, the sticker <laughs> peels off. I'm going to fix that this weekend. Mm -hmm. Spray some glue on it. Stick it on there and meet forever. Yeah. You can print your own, I guess. Um, um, and the other complaint is the display of the file name. It's eight, I believe only eight digits. Okay. Or eight characters. On the, on the screen? On the screen. Mm. Until you pl press play on the game and then it reads the header, which it can display a full long header. Oh. Oh, weird so if he's able to just like show long file names and scroll them a that bit or better. something yeah. it would be so much better mm. or once you're in a directory use both lines to display it mm. like i don't need to see the directory i'm in forever mm. and ever and ever just once and then it goes off or something mm. like i think that would be super super useful mm. because as it sits now I can't really load all the games I have because I I name my directories for every release that comes out and it only gets the first eight and they're all the same. They're all exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to restructure 8.3 format. I've been adding the game titles to these so they don't say all oh, my game all the time. Yeah, if you don't put the game in the header, I think the A78 header. Okay. I don't know much about it. Maybe speaking wrongly here. Yeah. Um, it just says my game mm. if you don't like put it inside the file. Okay. But if you put it inside the file, you have a long, uh, long name for the game. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I believe the, these say like XM version on them still or something. Yeah. These say Pac-Man XM. So he forgot to update the, the header file for these. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause they're not Pac-Man XM. They're, they're Pac-Man collection or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, um, I actually don't mind the on-screen display as much as I thought I would. Yeah, you were you were worried like, about uh, that. Oh, I'm going to have to... Yeah. It's very fast. Well, that's good. It's very usable. It scrolls fast. Yeah. Um, it's lit up. I have I actually have no problems with it. Mm, good. Except for the short, dis the short, the short file, file name, name. Because I, I just... Almost unusable at that point. Yeah. Unless you've just put on the games you want to play, which I can do for the show. Like, we play, like two or three games every show just mm -hmm. put those two or three games mm -hmm. yeah um the concerto has an on-screen display which is lovely and wonderful i love it it's mm -hmm. beautiful so i'm i'm looking forward to updates for the concerto to add more uh compatibility because right now it can't play everything that the dragonfly does yeah throw anything at the dragonfly it can play it, it. can play it yeah like there's been only a couple games that people have encountered and people immediately give fix given fixes to them. Yeah. So if you download Trebor's uh, uh, ROM pack, you're you're set. They're all good. And mm -hmm. I think he's made a couple updates. And I'm sure he'll in the next update that he releases, they'll all be super fixed for the for the Dragonfly. Other than that, it's a it's a must buy, mm -hmm. really. Both of them, the Concerto and and the Dragonfly. But have if you only have have their advantages and disadvantages. Both have their yeah. advantages and different disadvantages. Yeah. There's price differences. There's option differences. Mm -hmm. There's the on-screen display and all that. So it's, you pick one or the other if you only have money for one. And whichever one suits you the best. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's quick and it's nice. And I could already select the next game to play without turning off the current game. Mm -hmm. That is another option, right? Mm -hmm. um, as soon as you press, I want to play the next game, it'll just destroy what's on the screen. Um but, but you can you, select it without pressing it, so you can get it loaded up, right? Yeah. Yeah. The way I have it hooked up, it's separate power. Mm -hmm. But if you have it powered from the Dragonfly, mm. and you select the next game, it'll turn off your 7800 automatically. Mm. And then when it says game loaded, you press power, and it's on. So it's a big advantage if you just have a Dragonfly. Mm -hmm um to do that because it's a lot quicker uh yep you did miss the yamaha i guess and mm -hmm. we did we did do that we did um pokey 
music, pokey game, yeah. Yamaha music, Yamaha game. Yeah. I wanted to make sure I got one of each. Mm -hmm. And we played popcorn <laughs> on the pokey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there you go. Uh, it is time. I'll just show you what happens if you try and load a game <laughs> uh, without turning off your... Uh... Ah! <laughs> Those nuts. This is probably the biggest game you're going to load. So 10 seconds. About 10 seconds. For a 512K game. Okay. And if you turn off the header reading, it saves about one and a half seconds, I think oh. somebody said. So. Okay. Yeah. If you want to do that. Mm -hmm. If you don't look at the headers, then you're fine. Mm -hmm. So, it is time. Oh, you have a blank screen, everybody. Let's get that back to us. Boom. Uh, it is time to play EXO. Yay. I'm very excited about this. Um, it's been a little while since we played it. There we go. Um, we uh, It was first posted May 13th, 2020. We last played it August 24th, 2020. Mm -hmm. So it was quite, quite a while ago. Um, this build is from hours ago. <laughs> it <laughs> is fresh. <laughs> it is a fresh game. Yeah. It's, it is a 512 12 K game. Mm. It's a big game. It used mm. to be 256. It might even grow even more. Mm. He's got two out of the four worlds done. Nice. Um, he's got stubs for the third and fourth world. So you can fly in them and explore them, but they're just like, we'll take a look at them. Mm. Other games he's made danger zone for the 7,800 daredevil EXO for the 7,800. He's going to be making track and field. He's made tire tracks. Um, Sonic Runner, tire tracks. Yeah, uh, Sonic Runner for the seventy eight hundred is coming up, and Space Bank. Yeah. Um, this it will be available in the Atari Age forums tomorrow. Yeah, he says Muddy Funster said he'd be posting the new demo in the forums on Saturday, so watch the EXO thread tomorrow. So hopefully it'll be tomorrow. So are you ready? Let's do it. Boom. Luckily, this has a paused screen to start, so I'm not missing anything. Nice. The following demo has been approved for uh, appropriate audiences by the Motion Pixel Association. Where's Pixel? So clever. <laughs> Alpha 35, March 2021, Dirt Engine 2.3, nice. copyright 2021, Lewis Hill. Nice. Press fire. Nope. Wrong. Do you want me to switch that? A no, beautiful, I know it. <laughs> beautiful, shiny, kind of curved Atari Age button there. Nice. Very nice. Muddy Vision. New old-fashioned games. Find Excellent. us on these various things. EXO. Don't touch anything. Stop touching. There's things. There's new things. Oh, my God. Okay. EXO. Elite Xeno Operations. Mm. It's got a shaded planet. Last demo was released just before Christmas last year. Unless you find a bug while playing it tonight. Find a bug. Um... So this is the latest build of EXO. This is a completely new build. It's not been publicly released. Um, high level details. EXO is a 512K bank switched ROM utilizing a 16 kilobytes of extra RAM. Highlights and changes from Alpha 12, the last public demo. Oh. All fit four main worlds now have mission story screens. Uh, the intro just before you go into the game. World 4 screen is a new addition to this with the ship flying into the crater. So we'll take a look at all the four intros. Uh, for all four main mission select screens now correctly show status of team members rescued and artifacts recovered. Mm -hmm. The screens with the planets on them when you select where to go, bottom left corner uh, shows the status. So let's get into it. So this is our main uh, launching screen. So if you go around this, uh, so go to load and save Yep, on the bed. So you can load a game, save a game, erase a game. These are non-functional. You press the button, it just goes back. But those will be so you, you know, if you take a long time to play the game, you can uh, 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 save your game if you want to continue later. Let's go over to what looks like uh, Atari 2600 Junior, or I guess it's a 7800, right? Because it's got the silver. So uh, status and help. Nothing. So that's not functional right now. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to the lockers. Here we go. Credits, MVO, MVOS Pro System, version 7.4. 1,040 gigabyte free system. Uh, gigabyte system, 998 gigabytes free. So they haven't nice. used up much. Temporary credits screen. 
co-design graphics Lewis Hill, musical genius Bobby Clark, temp sound effects Lib uh, Mike Sarna, uh, code gurus Mike Sarna, Matt Smith, testing and feedback Trebor S. Ramirez, Crossbow, a ZPH. Mm -hmm. Special thanks RJ for the Dragonfly, mm -hmm. of course, that we're yep. playing it on. Mike for 7800 Basic and Matt for ADS. Uh, fire to return. Uh, you go over to the cinematics. I believe nothing is there right no. now. Go over to the light switch. Where? Uh, it doesn't say anything. Go over to the light switch. There? Yep. Nice. <laughs> it turns on and off the nice. light. Nice. And I believe that's the extent of this screen right now. Wing Commander expired. Needs a calendar girl by the locker <laughs> Yeah. That is a PAL 7800 as they had fat rainbows on them. Oh, that's why yeah. I'm not... That's why I think it's a 2600, like yes. the junior, because yeah, yeah, it yeah. had the rainbow on it too. Mm, nice. So um, while you're playing, I'll be reading this out because there's okay. a, a lot to read. And I've stapled it wrong. I've, that's okay. I've forgotten probably how to make it work. Okay, don't okay. press anything. Like, stip, 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 stip. No. Left, right to select. You said while you're playing. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to start playing. <laughs> yep. Left, right to select, fire to start. Okay. Um, so there's four worlds this okay. is the first one gotcha uh hamish is being held on kanika low risk zone let's go get him mm -hmm. artifact recovered no exo member rescued no gotcha uh we have i believed finished this world but uh mm -hmm. i'll let you play through it um so the next one rix is on the factory world of iris medium risk beware lava mm -hmm. artifact recovered no except moment member rescued no so we haven't done any of these missions yet go to the next one left right select a mouse's mouse is on the forest moon of kish in the ancient temple ruin this is a high risk area mm. so obviously they go increase in difficulty artifact recovered no excel member. okay next one restricted the colonel is held in a dark zone rescue the team to unlock this is a very high risk area mm. So let's go back to the... F oh, jeez. Didn't even go there before. This is gobbledygook. Nope. Can you go back? I can go back at will. <laughs> it doesn't... It's not like, like you can't go didn't back. didn't see it for two seconds. Uh, <laughs> restricted. That is like a dead moon. Um, maybe that decodes to something. Some uh, keen people out there want to type that in and convert it from hex to something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Um, and so we've got five five zones. I, th I thought there was four, but there's five. So go to the first one and start flying around. We have seen this. Uh, I'm sure he's added some stuff to this. Uh, you can decode the gobbledygook. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. It is hex. I need to copy and paste that. <laughs> Screenshot. <laughs> there okay. you go. There you go. Type it Screenshots out. How now. long do you need? Oh, they just need to screenshot it. Oh, I've got this on paper. Yeah, you left that at home today. I know, and I put it on backwards. <laughs> it's, it's reading your pulse backwards. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're dying. I'm dying. Uh, okay, go for it. Not this one. Yep. Artemis base launching. So it's got a launch animation. Look at that. Gorgeous. So nice. Kanika, Desert World. Zoe brings the wasp in low, looking for an entrance to the admin tunnel complex. Nice little parallax scrolling graphics mm -hmm. with the ship and the uh, ship's going up and down a little sun there okay and i don't think music was in the last one great music now did you play this a little uh, bit a little bit okay yeah you gotta shoot those um you just don't want to run into them you can't avoid them they're just like obstacles and then what's over here uh, I think it's all blocked. You can pretty much run into like anything except for those. You can't run into those. Mm -hmm. You can't run into like little missiles that shoot. You can run into force fields, but everything else is safe. So you don't have to avoid the walls. Whoa. So those things. You... Oh! It respawned. Yeah. That's, all right, all right, that's okay. That's music is new. Love the flicker on the thruster. Yes. Everything is just gorgeous about the music's so good. Let me know if the music loud enough. Probably is. So you have to kind of make them fire themselves. Mm -hmm. um, all four main... No. Is that a cat? Yep. Get, get, get. Um, all four main mission select screens now show... I think I said that. 
All four main worlds are accessible. Ignore restricted on World 4. It's open with a few test screens and some test pallets. Uh, worlds 3 and 4 are incomplete in this build. In the development build, World 3 is more or less done, but not yet integrated into the main code path, and it has some issues that need to be worked out before it's demo ready. In this demo, it's just a teaser with a few screens like last time, mostly to show the graphics, not really the layout that will change. World 4 is a work in progress designed but not yet built, and some teaser screens are included to show what it will look like. Those spinning guys have new colors. I think they do. I don't remember them being uh, purple before. Hmm. Oh, they're getting caught. There ah. go. Yeah, I, I would suggest like an angle. Oh, I uh, keep. I'm not. Sh I'm shooting, but not fast enough. Yeah, that's challenging. Because you have to really. move and shoot and then get in <laughs> before the guy gets to you. It should not be challenging. And remember, the second button is a rocket. Is it? You do have limited numbers. You have 14. Oh. When do I need to use it? Um, when it's when it's in like you could use a rocket before you get to that guy, like when it's up, or maybe you can use it now. Try it. There you go. Oh. So that's an easier well, way of that doing was much it. Easier. Yeah. So you might want to use rockets in certain situations. Close. So go touch that computer without those guys, and that'll be a um, a checkpoint. So now you don't have to go back to the beginning. Down too dangerous? Um, we played it before, so I'll tell you. You have to go up first, and then down after. Hmm. You gotta use the other one. Oh. A little bit closer. It's gravity. There you go. Uh, World 5 requires the collections of all artifacts from Worlds 1 through 4 to access and is being designed currently as not included in the demo. I don't think you can destroy him. Uh, saving and loading is complete and working but not active in the demo. There's a placeholder screen. Hi, kids. Pokey tunes are in for the title World 1, World 2, World 3. More on this below. I think you'll be able to shoot that one. You have to go and shoot it. Quick. Ooh. You have a little more time on that one, so. Uh, the new collision system is in and functional. There is a very big change, and the details are below. So there's two paths on this one. <laughs> one guy that shoots you, so it's, you could go over the top. No. Or you could just try and fly. Or you could miss all those guys. You have seven left. You do have to throw that switch up top. There you go. Um, uh, new sy sy collision system is in and functional. This is a very big change and details are below. Uh, bonus life pickups are added. So there's some bonus lives in here. There's one to be found in each world. Um, now, you may want to shoot all those because there may be bonus lives in them. And it costs nothing to shoot them, so. Nope. Hmm. So you could either go up top. Four left. Uh, pokey music, TIA sound effects. Yeah, TIA is very good for sound effects because it has a lot of noises. Uh, and he said, and he's got an edit in here. Okay, I didn't know if I would get this working in time, but the pattern-based probe code, uh, you called them space chickens in the last demo, so I don't think we've seen them yet. So I haven't seen anything that, was space, that looked like space chickens. Oh, yeah, every time you die, you're full of uh, missiles again. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Oh, weird. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I would just go in and out on that guy. On what one? The guy you just died on. I would just like go in and out I was out trying to, yeah. Uh, maybe I'm just not getting far enough underneath him. 
Um, uh, look at this, look at this. Oh. Oh, I guess you gotta fly in between them. <gasps> and, and I have to go further and then fly back. Yeah. I'm just gonna die on that. Thank the patterns are not yet optimal, uh, not optimal yet, as it's mostly test data to move stuff left and right, but uh, the system works, which is the main thing. From here, it means I can easily add complex movement patterns for probe aliens. World 2 doesn't have any yet, ran out of time with the demo. Deeper Dive, the music. A number of pokey tunes are in the game courtesy of Bobby, AKA Synth Popalooza. His work is amazing. Oh yeah. Um, and we already heard some off the top of the show. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, maybe you do need to go down first. Oh no, I have to go back. No, nothing. Hmm. Mm, yeah, you did have to go the opposite way, sorry. Oh, it's been a while since I played this, like six or seven months. You might want to start over, even. Uh, <clears throat> His work is amazing and really takes the game to a different level. I've said it before, but the community of developers like me are lucky to have folks like Bobby to collaborate with, and our projects are all richer for it. 100%. Uh, title, screen, and World 3 share music. Okay, this is temporary. The title music is now designated as World 3's music, but we're using it on the title for now as a placeholder until we get a new title tune ready. So the title music is not the fi final music, it's the World 3 music. Uh, World 1 music uh, is complete and included, so that's what we're listening to right now. World 2 music in the demo is actually for World 5, but we're using it as a placeholder now for World 2, as World 2's music isn't quite ready. World 3 music is complete and included. We used on the title. World 2 and 4 are in our work in progress, as is the new title tune. There will be a lot of other pieces of music to be added in future builds, such as launch tunes, game over tunes, and so on. Transitions. You can now complete World 1 or World 2. Return to the barracks, and your progress is maintained through the next level you choose to try. Collisions. The engine is now using a new collision system that I wrote for Danger Zone. It has been improved a little for EXO. The system is nearly 100% accurate and even a little forgiving compared to the old one. Old one box arbitrary hit system. Okay, so before it was a box hit system. So if you were... Oh no, there's the Try bad to... guy. Well, I'm going down next time. Yes. <laughs> I can already see the color hue starting to change on the teal pipes from when it was first powered on and started. Such is the 7800. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to deal with random colors. Um, to explain this better, I'll use a picture. So it looks like he Ooh. used to have a box for the hitbox. That's where the hitbox comes from. And now he's made it more like this uh, 2600 where it's a almost perfect pixel hitbox. Um, so it's it's almost perfectly around the ship. It's a couple... Ooh, good job. Didn't use a missile lot. Nope. <laughs> ran out slowly. Yep. Uh, left is the old hit setup on the main ship. You can see the upper and lower left red arrows. This was also registered as a hit in the same part that is the ship. I'm just got pictures, but they don't translate. Um, the 7800 doesn't have the same sort of hardware hit detection found in the 2600, and I was using a simple box collision, meaning the red areas were part of the hitbox and naturally felt unfair when hits to those areas killed you. Exactly. Yeah, you kind of go at, got to go after a wave of them go. Mm -hmm. yeah. That wasn't the problem. Okay. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Uh, That's super slow hard. Slow on the timing. The new. Oh, it's horrible. One, two, three, four, go. Oh, too slow. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, the new collision code produces a hitbox like on the right hand picture. Is it 100% perfect? No. But it's good enough to be fair and workable. It's very fair. It's very close to the ship. You can use all your ships up on this. Oh! Yep. Right on the edge. Uh, 
To be 100% perfect would be a trade-off on CPU cycles to do more checks. That would mean sacrificing other elements as EXO is right on the limit. It's a balancing act, and I think I have the balance and Hot compromise right. Same goes with the spinner traps as well. The ones that are indestructible and spin. The spin part was even more complex to overhaul as they have five frames of animation at different widths depending on the frame. The new, <laughs> the new piston traps in World 2, 3, 4 are now more forgiving. You no longer explode by simply bumping into the side of them. I think if you leave one, the last one, it has to go all the way off the screen. No, it's not. It it's not really. It, it's more random than that. Is it? It's this part that I'm... Ah! Oh, it's like I... I you just need to catch it. Very subtly. Turret bullets do not yet have the new collision code, but that doesn't hugely affect uh, gameplay. It will be added in the next build. Mighty Funster says you're going too fast. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not. I get caught on the edge of things. That's, yeah. that's my problem. Boss fights. I really agonized over whether to include this feature or not, but I have finally decided that it works well with the game flow and style. Awesome. Boss fights are awesome. At the end of each world, you will have to defeat a boss to fully complete the world and progress. I have coded uh, the first boss standalone to test the concept, and it's going to be integrated soon into the demo. Bosses need a whole new strategy to defeat, and each is different in their abilities, weaknesses, and attacks. Excellent. World 1 is a warden, a huge robotic exoskeleton piloted by the jail warden. World 2 is the factory defense system, basically a huge tank designed to cause mayhem. Sweet. World 3 is the high priest of the alien death cult, a huge mechanical skull spider. It fits nicely with the gothic ancient theme of World 3. World 4 is the death... Uh, uh, world 4 is the flesh stripper. When you see World 4, you'll get the idea of where that's going. Oh, what's new? Somebody said something new. The laser gates look a little different. Ah, they do. It's hard to it's hard to remember because it's been so long. Mmm, got a switch there. Mm -hmm. Savage Carl G says. Miscellaneous changes. Palette optimizations for PAL are improved and a little lighter in places. Oh, can you turn that off and on? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Oh, <laughs> I'm not going back. Okay. <laughs> I just thought uh, you had to turn it off. Ah! <laughs> 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 Surprise! Yeah. Uh, about 40 balance tweaks, object placement changes, scenery blocks, level changes. Oh, oh, oh stocked it. up on uh, missiles. Uh, uh, still a couple more planned from testing this week, ongoing really. Uh, numerous, and I mean probably an excess of 50 bug fixes and code optimizations. Probably a few hundred lines of code have been rewritten and optimized, as well as lots of stuff added since the last demo. This is a really big update, even if it's stuff that's not visible. There have been a lot of changes under the hood. And I mean, even looking at it, there's like lots of color changes and um, graphic changes. I think you got to blow it up. Or shoot it. No, don't. No. The thing that just oh, that thing? There. Yeah. there you go. Now it's green. And now you get to get the key card. What key card? Oh, I got it? No, you, you... Destroy you, it. You got that thing okay. that's green now. Okay. It was orange. Yeah. Now you have to go find the key card as well. Oh, that was somewhere else. And you've yeah. done a bunch of switches. So now some things will be open. Right? Mm -hmm. Something will be Oh, I didn't... Mm, didn't I should have hit the button. Didn't yeah. time it for that bullet. My no, turn. I went down. I went down. My turn. It wasn't a bullet. <laughs> Nothing to do with the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I went down. Yeah, I took the generator out. Nice. Which is stay engaged. Yeah, I don't think it changed. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, 
if you want to uh, continue reading from we? the top there. Bean traps, now less flickery. I'm not sure whether these need more visual polish or removal of the flickering altogether. I don't like the light toggle switch. So that will change to something a little more visually appealing in a future build. The shootable probe enemies are now in version 3. Newly upgraded from the space chickens. I was tempted to call them tanjams, as it's your fault that I had to change them again. <laughs> Once I saw them as space chickens, it was impossible to unsee Oh that. no, sorry. <laughs> sorry about the space chickens. Uh, these have also had a complete coat overhaul. <laughs> And rather than just attacking in straight lines, they now have a pattern-based system within the game engine allowing for more flexibility. The funny thing is there's no space chickens in this, so I won't know what the space chickens I were. Don't I don't remember what they were either. Space chickens. Did we call it them that on the show? Yeah. So I went to the right before. You can't really go up. No, I'm, I'm checking yeah, in. Yeah, checking in, but you can't really. Yeah. And then they come from the left. I know, much easier. Funny, funny. That will come back after. Yeah, I have to get timing. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want me to read off the to dos? Yep. Okay. To do, World 3 needs to be integrated into main code path. Damn it. Worlds 4 and 5 need 5 to be completed. Music for World Damn 2 it. and 4 to be added. Boss fights to be added. Mechanics for a new trap type in World 3 to be added. Mechanics for. The Flesh Volcano in World 4 to be added. Action screens in the barracks need to be completed and activated. Load save, view cinematics, help screen. Saving will save your game progress and things like unlocks and easter eggs and best level times. Pause screen with status etc to be added. New cinematics for end of level, start game cinematic, end game cinematic etc. Uh, maybe some fun Easter eggs, such as the band to play all the tunes in the game. Nice. A couple of demo. games for the console and the barracks, etc. Nice. Uh, various other tweaks, speed adjustments for PAL consoles. Uh, currently, some things are too slow on PAL. Replace the final F uh, SFX library, um, SFX with new ones. Activate timers. Yep, I added timers for folks that want to do speed runs. Will be active from the status and help screen in game and in the barracks. Neat. Good job. Thank you. Oh, did you start? You didn't start at the beginning, did you? I'm just really fast. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. Verify. Uh, oh no, chat. no, you're right. It's only a couple of. Uh, it's only a couple of screens. Yeah, never mind. You verify with yeah. the chat. I did not skip anything. <laughs> I did the whole thing. I just you just didn't do that upper part like I did first. True. I forgot that. <clears throat> this would sound good using the Emma too. Yeah, it would. It's now available. Did, I mean, it depends what you're gonna go for, right? Mm. Because if you put the Yamaha abilities and you want to put it on cartridge. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to include somehow that Yamaha chip on your cartridge. And if you choose Pokey, you got to put the Pokey chip on the cartridge, so... Now, can you go up? Yay! Oh, oh. my god! Oh my god. That's pretty long time being on. Not long enough to go through two. I'll probably go through two. I'll probably go through two. There you go. Danger. Danger. What's in here? I should be, yeah, I should. Look at them! Oh, they're kind of pausing. Yeah, they, they were doing that down below, too. Watch out. Shooty shoot shoots. Yep. Oh, that's free life there. <gasps> I got stuck! Oh, there, was, there wasn't a free life. There was a switch. Oh, under there? Did you see it? Yeah. No, I missed it. There was a switch under there. It's okay too, man. I thought Ford Apocalypse was tough. This looks brutal. It's it's, uh, it's hard. It's it's challenging. It's good. Yeah, you need to you need to missile those things. See? Ah. ah. Plus it gives me a hideout. Yeah. Another hideout. Yeah. And what is this? You just picked extra up extra life, right? Stuff. Yeah. Nine lives. Excellent. That's funny. It's on the screen. 
Uh, you can't go past. Oh, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, can. there's an exit point. But I didn't do the whole level. No, you haven't. I haven't got the key card. I have to go back. Do you? Yes. Oh, they're coming from that direction, right? Yeah. I like that they kind of shake and laugh. They laugh at you. That's what it seems like. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out! Ooh, <laughs> that was close. Ooh, they're coming from that side. Yeah, they paused, though. But only four can be on the screen at a time. Uh -huh. So... Do you know that? <laughs> well, there's only ever four. Can I fly through this? Oh, you probably can. I think I'm going to do that one and then go from yeah. the bottom up. Why is there a zapper there? Yeah. Just so you... If you, you don't fall. rest, I guess. I yeah. So I'm going to have to go through all this again mm -hmm. after... And then go back. Yeah. Yep, that's how these games work. Oh, see, they're they're harder than they look. Mm. Oh my god! I'm just gonna fly through. It gives a generous amount of lives, which is very nice. Yeah, I find those guys hard. Um, I think I'll... Oh, you can get them again. Good stuff. Oh my what? god. <laughs> Silly. You're trying to be too fast. I am. Deep breaths. Calm. Calm. Give it a bit. Oh, I can just fly straight up now. Because <laughs> I switched something. Yeah. Should I go under this? Or I usually go it? under because I find it easier to fall with the gravity. It is. Yeah, that's true. But, uh... I think I'm gonna go above this one. Gets more time. Mm -hmm. It's almost scary going on the next screen. Fortunately, there's never anything. You can run through it, yeah. That's probably a, a good path. That's the easiest path, I think. Yeah. And a checkpoint. Good job. Anything in these? No, I don't think there was, was there? No. No. Mm. I'm gonna bomb this one. Yeah. What's going on here? Uh, you have to be a little higher. Mm. You have to go forward a little bit more and then come back. You can do it though, yeah. Thank you. It's all about there you the go, strategies. now you can go through. And the key. Double greens. No. Oh, oh! Come on! Did you get it, though? Do you have yeah. the key? Yeah, yeah, you do, so you don't have to. Yeah, there is advantage. Muddy Funster, or... Who was saying that? <laughs> to what? Dying? To dying, yeah, and respawning. I guess If so. you have lots of lives, you're okay. Well, I don't really like Six? using them up. No, but... Do you get more lives to the, in the next chapter? Like, this is the lives for this stage. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Lives are it. Lives are it. So yeah, you for have all, six for all the, for your for all four worlds. Worlds, yeah. And you Rock get one. Recharge. You get one bonus life a level. Mm -hmm. You think you said? Yeah, like that. Right down. Oh, yeah, oh that those too. guys didn't come back. Thank no, goodness. they died. They they shot straight up to the oh, green. Oh, <laughs> because they saw me. Yeah. Saw me. Yeah. So challenging. This? Well, yeah, just timing it so moved. I don't hit them. Those are not too bad. You just have to, yeah, it's just all in time. Yeah, just don't move too fast. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Hello. That's open. And the other one's turned off. Mm -hmm. Oh! Ooh, what is that thing? Bonus there. It's all slow going through this. Like, what? That's is weird. It dragging against the ground? I don't know. Is it a... S oh, it's slow down. Interesting. Why is it slow down there? Mm. Anyway, there's Secrets. something. Secrets. Secrets are right. Ah. Damn it. How far does that guy go up? Probably have to, yeah. Avert your eyes. Secrets. Oh my goodness, yeah, you have to... 
really time that well. There you go. You can go down there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'll just go over top and get it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It doesn't matter. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. For whatever Ugh. that's worth. But you have to go back down, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's such a long... I mean, it's not that secret. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> that's the artifact. Oh, oh okay. And you, you, you made have, it to the exit, so you, you know where the exit the is. Artifact. Yeah, I think you do. <gasps> You've been too fast! No, I wasn't. I was doing it the way I wanted to do it, but it was just bad. <laughs> Crossbow. See, you die and spawn away from the mess. Well, it's true. I mean, that is the advantage. So that's what I meant to do. Yeah. It's just a little low. Sure. And switch the direction. <laughs> Definitely. No. No, time it. The levers you were popping unlock the artifact room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Obviously, you're meant to go through. It looks beautiful, by the way, Muddy Funster. Oh, it's gorgeous. Like, it's just such a great looking game. <gasps> yeah, Whoa, that's that what I close. did. I went, ah! <laughs> that was so close. F you. All of you. All of you. <laughs> you can Not just go. dealing with it. shoot and then you can you can go through too if you shoot those first time. oh this isn't the exit where am i supposed to go it was up wasn't yeah. it oh my goodness oh my god that's okay you're probably closer to oh no you have to go back through yeah oh no almost died there yeah i don't like those guys why didn't anybody warn me It's up there. And up. Yeah. It was up uh, towards the end. Watch those guys. Oh, ha, ha. It's a safe spot there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. So I shouldn't be really conserving. Yeah, you don't really need to because you know you don't have too, too far to go. That was very close. <laughs> he was actually safe sitting right in front of it. He was just a little too far over, I think. Mm, yeah. Yeah. There's your quote-unquote exit. That I remember this being very very challenging like you have to time this perfectly i guess you could jump out and back but nope not well it's... like right now Oof. congratulations hamish is rescued this is where the first boss fight will go <laughs> <laughs> the first boss is the warden artifact found press return fire to return very nice okay so mission two all right. Your no, first. you keep going. Oh, okay. I'm gonna. I'll be. You Artemis base going. launching. Thank you, Muddy Funster. I made some mistakes. Um. Eris Five Factory World. Zoe uses the volcanic activity to mask the wasp from the enemy sensor array. I have no idea what that means. I think I need the manual. Mask the wasp. Oh, the wasp is your ship. New music. Let's just listen to that for a bit. Okay, let's go. 
Volcanic activity. Now, we did play a bit of this last time, I believe. Beautiful lava. And I love the, the transparent uh, laser there. And all the piping. A little place to land. Now, we've got a choice, left or right. Hopefully, one will be obvious. This is probably obvious, because it's blocked off. But there's the key card. Love the rocks. Everything is just gorgeous. Like, this is... Like, uh, like when you talk about homebrew nowadays and relate it, people always go, this would sell, sell a million. This would be a system seller. Uh, of course. This <laughs> yes, is of course it incredible. would. Incredible. Yes. Look at that. Oh, I volcano that, level? I gotta do that switch up there. I think nice. I'll go around. Yep, it's volcano level. Nice. Gotta have a volcano level. Gotta, gotta have, have a, a water level. An ice level. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Turns off these. Hmm. I can. It's pretty be short. Safe. Can you? No, you have to here. float. No, because you can't sit on him. But yeah. Yeah, safe. It's sort of safe. Safe there. And then that would be. I'm okay scared of going into a new room because oh. death can await you immediately. Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna try and trigger each one of these. I'll go here. What if you drop really quick? Uh, oh, I bet that's oh. slow. You can drop down. No, no, no. Not with no. those on the, le on the left. Oh, I, I was thinking. Then I go over here. Trigger this one. Then I go. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, you have to be careful. Trigger this one. I kind of feel like you could trigger them from the middle. Kidding. Oh see? my god. See, I, I told you you could. Oh! Cat distracted me. <laughs> now I'm mad. Kid, can you move the paper? He wants to come. Oh, too slow. Paper's destroyed. <laughs> destroyed forever. Hi. Hi, you want to play the volcano level? What are they saying in the chat? Uh... Oh my god, I got stuck. Oh my god. Well, now I have all Yolo? my lives. <laughs> oh, you re Oh, Oops. are you starting? That's not what I want to I'm taking all the visuals. Yeah. Yo YOLO. Uh, <laughs> that diamond wasn't there before. Kidding. That was from. Some screens look a lot harder than they really are. <laughs> yep. You just you used to just drop straight down in there there to avoid all of them. Yeah, I think you can just drop straight down well, I did. for those four. I did yeah. just do it, so. Yeah. Definitely. I love that. That's, you so can't... that's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh. What? What? That was funny. <laughs> you can go into it just as long as you aren't crushed by it. That's funny. Is that a bug? Should you, be, should you be killed by it if you touch it? Should you be blocked by it? Mm. Like, what What should happen? Because I could fly into it, but as soon as it moved down, that's when I died. That's just weird. I don't know what the hmm. proper <gasps> solution would be <laughs> for that. So, it says I can go straight down in the middle, I'm guessing. Yeah, but watch the last guy. Oh, that's something you could be killed by. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Not easy. Not easy. I wish there was uh, another... Um... Oh, no, yeah. You have to be very quick going across this. You could go up, too, couldn't you? You could, but it's easier going across, I think. You have much more time. At least that switch is set still. Sides will block you, but when the piston triggers, you're under it, you're toast. Yeah. So that's why that's there. So if I go beside it, right here, I should be safe. If I just drop it. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Done. Just time that. That's not mm. too bad. Now what's happening here? Oh, there's a checkpoint. Yes, please. There is a, a crossbow or not. Yeah, the diamond blocks you, but you can still drop through. <laughs> you can still drop through. Yeah. So there's a lava way and there's a crusher way. Mm. Um, mm. 
probably both end up in different spots. So I'm just going to take one. Yeah, pick one. <gasps> oh, yeah, you do get caught on edges. Yeah. Yeah. On purpose. That was put there for sure. Oh. oh. Okay. So this is this is pretty safe. Oh, but and there's something at the bottom. Yeah. It's an extra life. But that's an easy, easier to get from here. Oh, that's much better. Mm -hmm. Watch, you can up. hit the side of this, <gasps> and, you're, and you're fine. Mm. I accidentally did it. Only when it's going up. I think when it's going down, it kills you. Yes. Okay. So there's there are stuff two up there. Paths. Those oh, look three. blocked there. Those are blocked, but there's a way up. Careful. Yeah. Oh. So there's a checkpoint, which I'll take. So these all. They might up? connect oh, back up. Yeah, they that do. makes sense. So there was something there. So this is That's the, the thing you want to get. Yeah. So there's that turns it off. Where am I safe over there? All the so way you to the to left. Need to go down. And All then the you just go up. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because so then I have to go up immediately. You have to go up. So I have to time it with that. With that thing right at the top. So I'll sit but you here. need a safe spot. I think your safe spot is sitting on that button. Yeah. After you trigger the um the okay. missile, right? There's a missile. Oh, God, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now you're okay. There's another missile. <gasps> oh, I got to shoot that beforehand. Oh. I have to go up and shoot that beforehand. Can you? Yeah. Missile There's it? no way I can do it. I can get rid of that one, too. Oh, you can shoot it. Oh, this missile. Yeah. That's a much better idea. Mm -hmm. Wait, can the missile take out the generator? Yeah. <laughs> no, it can't. It's unfortunate. Missiles kill ah, you, just not generators. Get stuck. <laughs> get stuck. If you get stuck, you're gonna get lasered. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Hey, you need to go immediately. Not get caught on the edge. Moon logic. <laughs> oh, what? No, the timing's off now. Oh, they follow different lengths of paths. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's uh, brutal. Nope. nope. I have to wait till they sync up again. <laughs> Is it good now? Nope. I'd be dead. It's not even that thing's not even gone past it. Well, now no you might be okay. Uh, oh, there. If I time it like that and wait a bit. There you go. Yeah. Maybe if you get it and you get back. Oh no, you can <laughs> nope, actually block there. It's That's safe fine. There. Whew. Oh. Stay on this. When is it? Sam, switch until the time is ready to go through the gate. Yeah. Oh that yeah, switch. like there for sure. Oh, yeah, I have to go through both again. Oh no, I don't. No. It doesn't have a second one. No, 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 no. You're good. <sighs> so what's happening over here still? Checkpoint. No. Not much. Just no. Death two over muscles. There. Two, two, two muscles. muscles. Two missiles. Two missiles. Maybe that opens after, because why would you even go over there? That's just death. Good right? Question. Unless you can open that up. Like... Oh, I can't go through there. Hmm. Go through there. I'll do that after, because I'll be wasting missiles. Okay. So, those are now flashing. I don't Two know paths. if they were before. They weren't. So I'm going to go take those. the top one, because I'm at the top already. See if they join up. No, they don't. Oh. So, there's a deadly switch down here but I gotta get in and out Good job. Uh, not too bad not too bad no nope. totally separate paths mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go down that after not, oh crusher what's on this oh box of supplies Swords? missiles what oh, that's that's the other side oh, of that wall. Oh, so that wall disappears, or or, or the or, or the lava goes away, or something. Oh yes, Maybe? possibly. Yeah. Always just push. Just Music. Push. Excellent. Really cool. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot these guys. Oh, shoot what you can. You might be able to get past. Them. Checkpoint. Have to take it slow. I don't like him. <laughs> don't like him? Not at all. Mm -hmm. I was afraid those things would come mm -hmm. down and kill me. Yeah, just <laughs> spontaneously. Yeah, just fall. 
What's happening here? Nope, nothing? I'm scared. I'm scared. Nope, nothing. Okay, good. See, there's pipes for the lava, mm -hmm. right? Oh. James sees death everywhere. Good job. Well, I'm scared. Yeah, wouldn't you? I would. Yeah. This is the beginning. Oh, this is where I started. Is it? Yeah, it's just the right-hand way. Interesting. So okay. So I think I'm going to go back the way oh, what? I came. Oh, you can't go up to, or to the left, or are you already in that, those? That was the loop. Uh, you want to go down that other path, yeah. the bottom path, I yeah. think. Hmm. Oh, God. Ah! Should have gone down, but... Panic. Panic cat. Yeah. I like till he shoots. Fall. <laughs> Fall faster. Faster. Can you push down? Is it? No, no it's it the just same falls. speed. There is no down. Mm. Shoot him. Yeah, I've got. It's fourteen. Quite a few. So. Yeah, sucks when you waste one. Mm-hmm. Crusher. Wesley? <laughs> so... What was to the left? Mm. Nothing. Just shows you what you could get. So I have to go down that other path there now. Yeah. Unless... <gasps> God damn it. Not so fast. <laughs> Crossbow says, I got that reference. <laughs> <laughs> yep, TNG. What were we watching? Red Letter Media. Red Letter Media's review of season, season one. one of TNG. Yeah. Well, select episodes. Well, they're favorites. They they're worst. Their... No, they're favorite. They're of... favorite. Favorite of the worst, I guess. No, they're... yeah. Because they, they think this, that season's one of the worst. Yeah. Was there an app? You already been up. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it was... Well, there might have been a separate... Mm -hmm. Okay. Shoot it. Shoot it. So I've got both things now. So I just need... I'm probably going to the exit. You need the artifact, right? Have you gotten the... The artifact's hidden yeah, up at the top, Yeah, I'm going so the wrong way for no, sure. No, you're not. I don't think you are. No. Nope. You think I you're going to, go to the back. exit? And get the well, artifact. Maybe you have to trigger to something over here. That so. is possible. I would. <gasps> oh my god, I oh. fell a bit. <laughs> so there's the exit. There's a there, switch. Uh, See? Yeah. You're thinking, you're thinking like. Am I safe? I'm not full of it. I don't think I'm safe there. You're safe, well, by the switch. Yeah. I'll wait till it goes. No, up. not there's the lots bottom. Of room. I think you. Lots of time, just, I mean. Yeah. Now I'm going to go back. Now you have to go up just to hit it, though. Right? Oh, yeah. That's so, true. That's... And then fall. Great music. Synth Papalooza. Mm-hmm. Amazing. I love... I love the, um... Your little fighter or your... Little jet? Jet. What do you call it? The wasp. The wasp. The wasps. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> oh. Where am I? Oh, you're. Oh, you're. Uh, yeah, you're fine. So, um. Left and then. Left, left. yeah. Um. God damn you got it. the crusher. Still got five lives. And then I have to go down and around. Because over there, yeah. there yeah. is my, um. Mm -hmm. Is the artifact. Correct. Let me just check. Uh. Yeah. And now it's open. There yeah. it is. Yeah, I knew there was a switch. See, you're like, oh, no, I have to go back. No, 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 you might need a switch. <laughs> they like Good to call. hide switches in places. Good so call. Careful. And then, yeah. Now I have to deal with these. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, and that pipe blocks you. Yeah. So you might want to just kind of like. I'm going to do a checkpoint. Oh, yeah. The one. So I'm going to have to fly back. And you could, you could maybe I do go... have to trigger them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not 
That's not. There's lots of room. You're gonna, they're gonna they're gonna trigger when you go back too. Yes, they are. All right. That guy is not a thing. Oh God. That's what I mean. They're gonna trigger when you go back. So. Oh Am I boy, safe? drop! You have to drop really fast. I'm not safe. Drop. Oh there. there. Okay. That's what I meant. Let's get rid of that guy. Let's trigger these from up here. Just because I feel like it. <laughs> go up! <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> that's below, right? Yeah, Down. to get to the exit, yeah. Go up, Tanya was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the music. I really, really so love fitting. the music. It's non intrusive. But it it's, it suits the mood, it, it creates a, quite a quite a Atmosphere. Atmosphere, yeah. yeah. It's really great. Really, really great. Just wait till it gets up. And fall to the exits. At some point, you will want to. Yay! Congratulations! Rix is rescued. This, this is, is actually the music for World, F World 5. Right. Yeah. So this is great. Yeah. Sorry. It's very tense. This is where the second boss fight will go. Mm. The second boss is the Tonk. <gasps> Tonk. Artifact found. All right. Press fire to return. So those are the complete worlds that he's done so far. Oh, cool. So we're going to see the stubs of world three and four. Okay. Cool. 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 So there's now stubs. So there's just little bits in there. Bits. Okay. Yeah. To show off the the look of it. <laughs> it is a huge tong. <laughs> uh, Mouse is on the forest moon of Kish in the ancient temple ruin. This is a very this is a high risk area. Mm. Oh, actually, oh, it's too late. If I went back to the second world, it should show, yes, artifact found, yes, person rescued. It, it does. Okay. Yeah, I think for the first one, yeah. Kish Nec oh. Necropolis. Uh, the temple entrance is deep within the forest. Piles of bones litter the floor. Nice. Got the clouds going by. That looks like Endor. <laughs> With that little hut up there. Yeah, that's true. The trees. The skull, tiny skull, little bone. Yeah. Oh, just started. Oh, look at the skulls there. <gasps> Ooh, I love it. The forest, the jungly forest, the, and the ruins. The broken pillars. That's nice. Guy hanging from a chain. Look at that. Great music. Mm -hmm. Something. Oh, I can see it hiding. Can you see it? Light I'm switch. Hiding. Oh yeah. Purple switch. Ooh. Just enough for You're okay, but little yeah. tufts of grass and the greenery yeah, hanging, the vines. So oh my good. god, the detail. Yeah, it looks so good. I'm just gonna go blast straight upwards. Mm -hmm. Go right across. <laughs> Ooh, you could have <laughs> gone back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably should have. That can't oh, fly over nice. the bones. Yeah, nice. says ballsy move <laughs> it was you know great music i think he said this shippiana jones nice. jones <laughs> oh of course it was kev <laughs> pun master This is really just the skeleton of the level. Ha 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 ha. Boo! <laughs> Who said that? Was it Muddy Funster? Yes. Ooh, water. I'm in the water. Nice. Oh, do you? Uh, There's nowhere to go. Uh, well, I have to shoot. There's a switch. Oh, there is a switch. It's hiding. Oh, I don't know how you time Ow. that. Oof. Oh, Oof. what? That is tough. What the hell? That's already switched. Yeah, so that's fine. Do that again. <laughs> yeah, that's a better idea. <laughs> that's better. What? It says I've already got the uh, engine. Look at that. Uh, yeah, probably because, <laughs> yeah. It's not, just not done yet. 
The switches on this level don't do anything. Well, yeah. I gotta yeah. do them anyway, even if they don't do anything. It's a challenge. But I don't know how I'm gonna do that one, though. It's pretty. Like, where? Oh, you oh, can I can go hide in the water! Up. Yep. Uh, yeah, you weren't paying attention. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't see that part. I was reading the chat. This reminds me of a Commodore 64 game. Yeah, a little. Yeah. Yeah. Way more detailed than a Commodore 64 game. You have to get to that safe spot. I don't think I can. Mm. Is there another safe spot? Can I be at the top? Oh, you know what? They're timed differently, so you have to find the right timing. I just have to go immediately. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you have to find the right timing between the shot and the uh, nope. and the and the ship because they are not in sync. This is going to be actually harder. Just made it. You missed it. This is a tiny part of World 3. Thanks oh, for trying it out. Yay! Thank you, Muddy Funster. All my missiles. Use up all my missiles. Because they don't count. <laughs> oh, my missiles are run out. Excellent. Oh, what a great start to that world. So do does it remember if I... No, no it doesn't. That's it starts okay. all over. So, Restricted World 4. The Colonel is held in a dark zone. Rescue the team to unlock. This is a very high-risk area. Artemis Base launching. <laughs> Biomass dark zone. Oh, Biomass. Oh, yep. Yeah. Lots of uh, Japanese games are uh, biological. Yeah. With... Uh, just like, just like aliens. Oh yeah, 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 the, yeah. The movie Aliens. Yeah. It's all a big nest. Yeah. A blister-like crater pierces the bleak surface. Can the Colonel be alive down there? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh mm. yeah! Look at those eyes following you. And the, the disgusting walls. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. It's like a. Like VHZC's games where the eyes follow you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you take some inspiration from... Uh... R-Type, someone said. Oh, yeah, R-Type. Any of those games. Oh, pink. Pink goo. More, like pink more eyeballs. Nice. Anything up here? Some... It looks and the like... end. Yeah, just, just, a, just a... Just a teaser. A room. Room layout. And pink, uh, purple now. Nice. The colors are just... Amazing. Oh yeah, they look so vibrant. And the shading he's able to get on things, just yeah. with this small amount of pixels. And look at the walls, they are very much like yeah. aliens. Yes. Like the alien spines. Yep. And the drippy, drippy stuff up there. Nice to see the shells for the upcoming roads. Lots yes. of snakes, yeah. Lots of, yeah snakes. Ah, that's the flesh volcano, he said. <laughs> ah. ah, it does kill you. There yeah. you go. Flesh Those volcano. eyeballs are great. They are. Creepy. Look at them. Creepy. Creepy eyeballs. Uh, awesome. Very nice. So can you even... I don't think you can select... No, can't select 25. Ah, no. ah, oops. No. <laughs> so we've done a full playthrough of all the worlds now. Of the ones that are there. Oh, the ones that are there. Yes. Oh, amazing, That's amazing so Muddy cool. Funster. Unbelievable. You can see my uh, dragonfly cart has uh, completely peeled off. <laughs> it's a slightly peely label, a but little that's bit, okay. A little bit peely, but I'll take care of that yep. uh, this weekend. Um, so the winner of the poll, $10 plus. So 10, 10 to 20. Is your cart warm? Um, it's... It's it's warm. Yeah, it's I, warm. I wouldn't say hot. It's warm. I'd say warm. Yeah. Let's see the actual cart. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. It's warm. Mm -hmm. It's I would say fine because this is like a little. Some there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Oh yeah. And it's packed full of of yeah, things. Yeah, definitely the bottom part. Yeah. I I wouldn't say it's worryingly warm, but it's it's warm. So uh, at the top was 35.3% for $10 plus. 
Um, then next was nothing, uh, physical only, a 23%. Uh, then 17%, $20 plus. Mm -hmm. uh, then $5 plus, 11%, and then tied for last is 30 plus and, and $1 plus. I mean, that's how much you would pay. How much do you think it'll be when they sell them in the Atari Age store? I'd say at least 20. I would say at least 20. At least 20. Yeah. I don't, I don't, maybe 25 I wouldn't say 30, but I'd say at least 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but who knows? And who knows when that's coming? We'll see. Uh, we have some amazing shows coming up, uh, especially Bob DeCrescenzo's Spotlight. Yes, it, lots of Pac-Man going on there. Yep, it has been settled. The day is going to be April 9th. Um, so next month, just just about so, three, three weeks. Yep. yep. Um, so that is on a Friday, April 9th. Uh, in mere days, we're going to do a full playthrough of Circus Convoy. Mm -hmm. Start to whatever finish we can get mm -hmm. to. I've still not won the game, so it's, it's challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever it's released. I don't know when that be, is. Mm -hmm. They said next week. They were saying March 21st, right? The week of March 22nd. Oh, the week of. Okay. okay. <laughs> and March Sorry. 22nd is a Monday, so we might be playing it on Monday. On Monday, yeah. not Tuesday. Well, whenever they release it. They release it, we're going to play it kind of thing. As soon as they release okay. it. Okay. <laughs> because we can't play it beforehand because okay. it'll, it'll give away stuff. Yeah. But Fair as soon enough. as they release Fair it, enough. we're on even playing field with everyone else who bought mm. the game. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go for it. Um, oh, you missed the show. Oh, we showed off some of your, your new awesome graphic, yes. Andrew. Of overlaying the play field, single pixel moving play field with the 48 pixel wide graphic. Amazing. Very cool. Yep. Lots of great info at the beginning of the show. Um, uh, we're going to be doing a 2600 gay uh, show next mm. episode. Uh, oh, of course I would. Look at that's amazing, Andrew. <laughs> Which it's like groundbreaking. We actually showed off a bunch of groundbreaking stuff. Yeah, this yeah. show for as far as uh, uh, graphics for graphics yeah. and and 7800 stuff too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we're going to be playing some more 7800 games. Now that we have the Dragonfly, there was a couple games that had some issues booting up because a concerto mm -hmm. does not put black as the background by default. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So things were like Looking white Looking really screen. weird in the, in the opener. Yeah, screen. one of them yeah. was Worm. Yes. Um, we're going to revisit Wizard's Dungeon. Mm. Uh... Uh, is that the one? Yeah, where he's he's added a lot to it. Oh, cool! Yeah. Um, so we're and it works perfectly on the nice. dragonfly. Nice. So we're not going to crash or anything like that. So uh, you can also hear the music on Danger Zone on Dragonfly. Yes. Yeah. Lots of changes to Wizard's Dungeon. So I'm really excited to play that um, and descend down into the dungeon. Different weapons, different enemies. Um, yeah, and it's much more balanced now. Um, and, uh, yeah, we also have a massive event coming up at a random time and I can't tell you what it is yet, but I should be able to tell you what it is soon and then, but not when it is. I don't know when it is. I would say in the next couple of weeks, <laughs> two, you three love weeks. being mysterious. Well, they're so big and you know, you don't want to give them away and you can't give them away until a certain time, yeah. but it's, it's another big, another big thing. It's, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's going to be on a Saturday. Hmm. And it's going to start at noon. <laughs> so it's at a special time and a special day as well. Because uh, special <laughs> always day. under some NDA. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, I like the special the, event uncertainty principle. <laughs> bound by the NDAs. Special event uncertainty yeah. principle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Muddy Vision, get artifact F to unlock. Hex. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Did somebody decode it? Muddy Vision, get artifact F to unlock. Good job, Vitoko. Mm. I mean, he speaks in eight bits, right? So he understands the language. Vitoko eight bits, yes. Understands the language of computers. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, great job. <laughs> Just in time for the end of the show. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, we're going to be playing uh, Casey's Gold. I would guess sometime in the some, summer. Yeah, at some point. Schedule for the summer. Yeah. We might. We'll probably be playing it just before it gets released, just like last mm -hmm. time. So that was 
June twelfth. It had. It'll probably change. I'm sure. It's it's off in the future. <laughs> he speaks hex, hex. Um. Yeah. So that's the big things we have coming up. I've already started putting games in for the Halloween special and mm. the Christmas special as I run across them. Mm -hmm. Those are way off in the future. <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks for joining us for the Dragonfly and uh, EXO special. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much to Muddy Funster for letting us debut um, the updates of, for his new game. It's an immaculate game. Like It's the exact type of game I like. You're flying, you're shooting, a little bit of puzzles, a little bit of figuring things out mm -hmm. where you have to go precise first. Precise movement. And... Some precise movement. Yeah. Not too much memorization. Yeah. It's the perfect level of memorization where like, oh, I went the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. You know, oh, I have to do this again. Yeah. There's no yeah. dark mazes yet. Don't do it. Don't <laughs> do it. Do not do mark dark mazes. No. <laughs> Although there was some hinting at it. Yeah. A uh, varied gameplay, yes. Um, even music, though, beautiful. Music, beautiful, gorgeous. Yeah. The, I mean, and the visuals are stunning. The colors, the detail on them, lots of variety of gameplay. Even though it's similar, a lot of th similar things are reused. Hmm. They're put in different places, and made so that you have to think about each room in a different way. Mm -hmm. Even though there's, they're just like shooting. There's, there's stationary shots. And missiles, but they're all different every room, so you can't do the same thing, even though the same they're the same things in the room. Yeah. Um, <laughs> World five, all dark, all the time, and you have to find switches that turns on the light for two seconds. No, please don't. <laughs> um, there's there's a reason the switches on World five. Oh, switches glow and the level lights up slowly. Yeah, that kind of happened on that other seventy eight hundred um, dungeon crawling game. Remember you were, you, yeah. you turned on the, 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 or you lit a the torch? torches and it, and kinda... it slowly, he kind of got rid of that after. Yeah. He kind of lit it up completely because it was just too annoying. It, well, it does. It was too hard. Like, it's when like... you can only see a certain distance around you too and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Crossbow, S. Ramirez 2008, Muddy Funster, Carl G. Vitoko 8 Bits. Um, uh, Andrew Davy, Dan, mm -hmm. ABC, Atari 2600, dude. Uh, it's Kev73. Carl G. Carl G. Oh, a lot of the same people. Oh, Ran and Smart. Uh, Debola Donna. Yeah. Oh, that's a new name. Nice. Isn't it? Miss Command. Um, no, said that name. Said all those names. All the people chatting. All the same Hooray. people chatting. Well, thank you very much, Dan. It was a very enjoyable show. I love showing off all these yeah. amazing new homebrews. Yes. That people are making. Such talent. Like, coming from Tire Tracks. I remember mm. showing Tire Tracks for Muddy Funster. Yeah. And being blown away by the colors and yeah. the detail on the... The, the obstacles and the water and the sunsets yep. to come from that now to this EXO yeah. yeah like you could see the the seeds of it yeah even in tire tracks where it's just up down avoiding things yeah 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 the, yeah. the graphics from that game are just so beautiful. so beautiful yeah. and he's carried that all through his games mm. um all right up to EXO yeah. and so it's just unbelievable um, so we'll be back. Uh, we achieved the patch for tire tracks. Oh, nice. Did I get a tire tracks patch? You did. I couldn't. I was oh, really yeah, I frustrated did. by the end, I but did. yes. Yeah. Is there a physical patch though? Did I get a physical patch? I don't know. I don't think you did make patch. a physical patch for that. I can't remember. That's no, okay. Yep. One day. No, no physical patch. Uh, and we need the physical patch for the, the, the guy that floats down too. What that game's coming out. Uh, I know which one you mean. Damn it. I know What's your game called? Mean. What's your game called? Somebody's going to say it before. Daredevil. Daredevil! Yes, I'm looking forward to playing that in the show. Yes. When uh, it comes out uh, in box on cartridge yes. and getting that patch score. Yes. Daredevil. Thank you. Um, so we're back on Friday. No, it is Friday. Happy Friday. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back, back on Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> 6 p.m. 
same time. Um, oh, thank you very much, Atari. 2600, dude. It's on order. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the new games are on order. Yeah. They're so good. My poor pocketbook. Everybody's yeah. poor pocketbook. <laughs> yes. Um, so we're back on Tuesday, same time. And, um, oh, I'm a beginner here, but I love to watch you guys. Thanks for the stream. You're mm -hmm. very welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's got a... GlitchCon 2020. It's very cute. Oh, a very little cute dinosaur. Little dinosaur. I like cute. it. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out with us. Um, and we'll see you uh, next time. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a great weekend. Have a good weekend.